So yes, you guys, let me bring up Sergei once again. The little three foot tall, almost dwarven stature warforged oh with various tools all across his belt and chest and a little hammer made of a crystalline material similar to the uh, crystals that you saw in Viserly. Mm. And, and the he, ones that are on our cart. Yeah, and the ones that are on your cart. Mm. I fully missed that he was three feet tall. This is the best yeah, day ever. He's a, he's a Tiny little, fella. Little he's a little yep. guy. So much brain in his gosh darn head. <laughs> oh, you so little boy. Just a little boy. Oh, I'm s I'm gonna actively have to try to avoid talking him in puppy talk because everything small <laughs> has just evolved has just evolved into Hi you fella <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad you don't talk to me like that. <laughs> you see you have negotiation. I don't think I'd last very long. <laughs> so Sergey oh. just kind of uh eyeing you up and down and kind of extending a hand to shake with uh, each one of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You shake, shake his hand. hand. I do so. Uh, you can you can see that he's got a fairly firm grip as well, and you can see that all across his kind of um, constructy warforged hands, there's scratches and marks and stains all over. The, uh, you can tell he works with his hands like almost all the time. Oof. So, how, how are you enjoying our our little city here? You know, it's really not bad. I am liking the uh, the water flowing through all of this. It's very interesting. Ah, mm. you know what? That makes me glad. I built that myself. Oh my! Like by hand, just yourself? Well, with a few tools and a little bit of help, but it was part of my construction. I wrote the blueprints. Huh? You seem to have been have done a lot for this city. At least everyone that we've spoken to thinks fairly highly of you. Ah, I would hope they did. I've been working on this city for quite a long time now. Well, there is a pretty much one primary reason we're here, and I'm sure you know what that is. Oh, yeah, the heart. He uh, yeah. kind of steps forward a little bit and uh, just kind of pats around his body. Now, it's usually tradition that the trial of a Linthian dragon involves some sort of fight against a dragon. But if I'm to be totally honest, and I don't mean any offense by this, I find that tradition kind of wacky. So I agree. It, I like, I prefer the, the smoother sailing of just getting this done and over with. Yeah. So the place doesn't fall apart. Lucky thing yes. that this place ain't run by Lord Nicholas, meaning tradition ain't law. So I'm not oh. going to fight you. Instead, I'm just going to give you the heart, but only after you do me a solid. You're going to help me fight something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. What's the threat? I, I'm, I'm not surprised. It seems reasonable. Uh, not quite so much as a threat, but more like a resource. You see, there's a tons of ruins around Barbella and Low Par uh, Paramios to the west of here. Ruins of the old world. And rumor has it that there's some right nasties inside, and tons of treasure too. Ooh. I see. I'm very it interested in this. <laughs> so you want us to go in there and fight whatever right nasties that we find in there? Uh, not just fight them. Most, uh, more importantly, there's, uh, what happened recently is I think I've started to crack a formula on a permanent solution to the blot, and I think the final piece of the puzzle might be down in one of those ruins. Is what are we right? looking for? Yeah, I've been researching the blot ever since I could even lift a pen. Now, I don't pride myself on Grave Robin, but some of the greatest inventions made in Polytros were derived from some of the lost goodies hidden in those ancient ruins. And if I gotta get my hands dirty one more time just to get rid of the blot for good, I'm not gonna sniff twice. What do you mean yeah. by dirtied hands? Well, seeing as they're ruins from the old world, we're kind of stealing stuff from the dead. It's a little bit disrespectful. Eh. Oh. If they were worth our respect, they wouldn't be dead. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm sure we would be happy to help you in this endeavor. I didn't read the room. Hey. As well as the elimination of the blood. Be good for everybody. So when do we start? Hmm. Well. Just find it. I, I see that some of us here are not fans of Grave Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a dead person. Yeah. 
Now, what are they going to do about it? Historically, I mean, if it, if occasionally it means, they do get upset and get up about it. I would think that if it means being able to put a permanent end to the blot, that probably falls under the greater good. I think it would probably yeah. be for the best that we... I, I'm sort of agreeing with Word here. If they're just... You know, if they're dead. I didn't those things say that they, like, weren't alive? Did I get that right? The blot. Yes. I would argue that that is more reason to be concerned about the consequences of taking their stuff, but... Just to be clear, word, I do not object to taking their stuff. Are you sure they hate, the heat ain't going to you? If I didn't hear right, I, I would have thought that you said the plot talked to you. Uh, uh -huh. sort of. Ah, uh, it must have been the heat then. <laughs> if it was talking to you, it probably wasn't the plot. No, I mean. That we're... would be comforting, but we have reason to believe that it may in fact have been a form of communication. Uh, right, we, we've been able to, we, we've sort of been um, what's the word for it, guys? Um, We've I got our own research going by... on. Yes, uh, there was an unusual blot creature that was uh, pursuing us until we destroyed it in the uh, chasm near the entrance to the city. And but... it's been able to communicate with us, at least to... It, at the very least, it appears as though it understands and is ca of it understands speech and we were able to communicate somewhat with it. I mean, just yes and no, but it conveyed the attention, the intention of killing us without just attacking us first. Whoever so Wait. wishes, give me a persuasion check. All right, who's actually uh, charismatic? Uh, oh God, me for some reason? Yeah, I think it's always you, but we're- <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I guess me or <laughs> Buck. <laughs> See, oh, that's you. what you get. Oh no. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. can I try It's okay if he doesn't you? believe us. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, who cares no, this, guy this, this is just a <laughs> persuasion from whoever feels like they had the most uh, to, to insist right. that they heard the plot. And uh, you can see Sergey, <laughs> Sergey, one of Sergey's eyebrows just kind of narrows a little bit, and he just kind of puts both hands on his hips and tilts his head. Listen, uh, I don't mean to say that your ears were deceiving you, but I've been around this place for almost 200 years now. I'm pretty sure yeah, the plot don't talk. It is strange that none of the dragons have had a confrontation like this when we, bearing their hearts, have had so many. Well, yeah. whatever it is you heard, I'm, I'm sure it was something dangerous. But I Most can promise likely. you, Blot don't talk. I mean, what would... You, you, said, you said you've been studying the Blot for quite some time, right? Oh, yeah. What would... How, how would that change your perception of the Blot if the Blot could talk? Well, how would it change your perception if suddenly a thunderstorm started reaching out and speaking to you? Gods do exist. I feel oh, like so that, that does, does happen, happen sometimes. Yeah, I guess a few of them. You got me there. But needless to say, basically what I'm trying to get at is the plot's just a weather phenomenon. It moves on instinct. It's no more dangerous than, say, a tsunami or a tornado. And no less dangerous, but, um... Yeah, well, that's Nature true, is like that, but, uh... I certainly I, hope you're right, regardless. Uh, oh. I, I don't mean to be rude, and, and I, I get that you probably have done a lot of research, but the blot spoke to I mean, we didn't speak to us. It didn't use words, but we communicated with Buck, the blot. it's all right. <laughs> he holds up one I, hand. I, no, 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 I get it. If you say the blot spoke to you, then, you, then the blot must have spoke to you. I'm just telling you what my experience was. I've not once said the blood spoke to me. I just Bunk. want to be clear about the decision. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lara. I'm, I apologize. It's, it's all right. We don't need to convince anybody. We're all on the same page here. Our goals. We, I pointed, the two of us are on the same page here, I think. Yes, but our goals are the same. <clears throat> right. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to get frustrated about it you, you we got to go fight the goo guys in the in, in steal from the dead or, or whatever the whatever it was that would be fun something approximating that yes yeah back to the matter at hand anyway i was gonna say i used to pop into the old ruins all the time but starting a few years ago lord euphrasia has been putting a limit on my visits she keeps insisting it's too dangerous and that i'm far too important an asset but honestly i feel that gives me all the better reason to go in I feel if there's something incredibly important that could aid our province that's hidden away in an extremely deadly place, I ain't about to send in somebody else to die for my theories. Plus, I'm the dragon. I'm the most powerful individual in Politrios. And I don't even bra I'm not even <laughs> bragging this time. You'll know when I am. 
that is currently <laughs> true. Is Lord Euphrasia Worthless. going to be angry at us for assisting you in this endeavor? Well, no, but I think if I had you along with me, being that you've beaten two dragons, I think we could probably convince her to let me go along. Oh, yes. We are very good at coordinating with local authorities. And beating <laughs> dragons. All right. Well, whatever. Don't, don't linger on me saying that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. And he kind of uh, just trots and waddles. You can see that he's got somewhat of a makeshift uh, leg. They're kind of like asymmetrical somewhat with some pieces that he must have found at some point. And uh, it doesn't hinder his um, maneuvering too much. He just kind of walks a little weird. Hmm. And he heads to the elevator and makes some space for all of you and heads all the way back down. So how big do you get when you turn into a dragon? Ooh. Because you're like, you're like my size. You want me to spoil it? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> give, me, give me a rough approximation. Hmm. Well, your old man over in, uh, what's your town's name again? Satya. Satya. Oh, yeah. Elias. That's the guy. Yeah. Somewhere around his size, maybe a little bit bigger. I haven't really compared in quite a bit. I ain't so magically inclined as the rest of the dragons, so my form ain't a traditional huh. transformation like the others. I built it myself with my own four hands. I'm Whoa. very excited cool. to see that at some point. Yeah. Yeah, benefits of being a warforged. Half your body being a construct makes permanent transfiguration a whole lot simpler. I suppose huh. it would. <laughs> so do you just like get in the top of it and then its legs become your legs? Oh no, it's all stored in here. And he takes his hand, just kind of bumps his chest. And just like, <laughs> bung, bung. Oh. I'm curious how that heavy some... this little man is. <laughs> Too heavy. <laughs> the elevator's just like trying so hard. <laughs> the elevator just shoots down. <laughs> Lucky it's mad. He, he gets in his own tunnel, just plummets. Yeah. <laughs> Stay at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so as you head to the bottom and you start making your way to the Lord's office, um, you... Start making your way to the Lord's office. And you can see that there's a small orcish boy that uh, runs up to Sergei, about the same height as well, just a few inches below. And he starts rapidly punching him extremely rough on the chest. And you can hear <laughs> banging oh. like someone smacking pans together. And Sergei is um. clearly just uh, acting out pain. Oh, ah, you got me. Ow, the dragon of Politrios has been beaten. Ah, spare me, oh great Mikkel. And you can see the little, uh, a little orcish boy with a little bandana over his kind of spiky red hair. Oh. Oh. And who adorable. is this powerful pirate? He's adorable. Oh, this little tyke. This is Mikkel. Say hi, Mikkel. And then Mikkel just kind of points at Buck. You're the one who smacked La Destructora. <laughs> Oh. Um, uh, uh, well, we were engaged kind of in pitch combat. And, yeah, but you already uh, defeated her, and then you hit her again. I'm a villain. <laughs> yes, Buck, that was I'm, very ignoble of I'm you. I'm evil, so he I just uh, sort of my... The acolyte. Nah, you're not cool enough to be evil. <gasps> oh. Oh. I assure you, You're going to take that, Buck? Evil is never uh, cool. Uh, uh, that's a child word. I mean, what, what is it that you want me to do? Prove your evil. By, by, by what? Hitting the child? Bite this onion. And I hold up an onion. Where'd you get uh, the onion? Right. <laughs> well, uh, what, a, market. what a non-cool e not, uh, <laughs> evil person do this. And then I bite the onion. <laughs> Give me a charisma check. Okay. Uh, Wait, you're biting into an onion? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh boy. I vomit on the child. <laughs> no, don't vomit on the child. <laughs> oh, this is rotten word. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Mikkel Evil just kind of laughs and points. <laughs> now your breath's going to stink for a week. He's got you there, I, I, bud. I regret my... Uh... <laughs> Just what I wanted. 
Now you've got the breath like a villain. <laughs> Shut up. It's a good thing I'm down here. <laughs> that makes you in the splash zone word. <laughs> oh, no. Well, well that, I think that's... I think uh, we're busy, kid. So I think we're gonna... I'm gonna throw up. I gotta. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. Mikkel looks over at Sergi, and Sergi just kind of shrugs his shoulder. It's kind of like, "Yep, we do." Oh, come on, Sergi! Can't we play today? And Sergi just goes, "Ah, oh, sorry, little tyke. I can't. I got important business to do with these losers." Hey. <laughs> sorry, loser <laughs> and other winners. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm throwing up in the game. Like, like down the street. I'm like, I'm like a block down at a garbage With this can. this win that loser and the other two. Mikkel just kind of uh, lowers his shoulders. Oh, but you said that yesterday. You said that once you're done with your newest invention, you'd have time. I will, but I got another new invention that really needs my attention right now. Trust me, it'll all be worth it. But I need you to be a little more patient right now. And Mikkel just kind of kicks the dirt. Man, okay. And he looks at the party and pout and start to walk away. Fritz, actually, your passive perception, you can see that he seems to hide an explicit hand gesture at you all and kind of whispers, hmm. stupid pilgrims, stupid inventions, you're never going to play with me anyway. <clears throat> oh, the cat's in the cradle in the silver spoon. Little boy, mm. green. Do I want to blow a second level spell slot just to get can this guy I... a puppy to play with for a little while? Can I... Talk to the little guy. You most certainly too? can. You can I, I want to. I want to like. I. I like. Crouch down, and I'm like, hey, hey, strong, powerful man. What do you want? I know it sucks, right? It really does. Yeah, I can't play but... with Sergi because of you all. Ah, but you see, Mister. Once this is done, you won't just have one playmate. You have two. I'll come play. Now, how fun will it be trying to catch someone flying? Give me a persuasion with advantage. Yeah. One more. Hmm. Already pretty good. Just in case. How good okay, Fritz 14. Is kids. <laughs> he uh, he kind of looks you over. He sees your wings. Can I ride on your shoulders? Yes, but you have to wear the goggles. Mm, <laughs> he kind of like looks and thinks about you it. You don't he want bugs in your eyes. Trust me, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts, dude. He, he puts one hand to his chin, rubbing it as if he's got a beard. Mm, I can squish those bugs with my eyelids. Oh, a truly formidable <laughs> warrior. I don't doubt you, sure. That's a fascinating visual. He, not my, and I just like whispered like, it's not my fault if he cries, right? It's not my fault. No, he holds out it's a, a pinky, learning experience. He holds Valuable out a pinky finger to you. All right, and I'll, I'll pinky promise I'll give him a flight. And he uh, he flicks the pinky promise, and then he points to you, and he points to Sergey, like like almost like he's like ready for you to bring it by his office the next morning. And he walks <laughs> off, and you can see that he's got a little bit of a spring in his step now. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know if this was gonna work. Uh, <laughs> just Lyra, I'm like I haven't talked to children in so long. <laughs> Masterfully done. Everyone My dad made this look like it was hard. <laughs> yeah, so, well, children respond enthusiastically to the promise of future violence, so I'm not surprised mm. that you and Mikhail get on so well. I'm not violent. Of course not. Sergey uh, goes up to you, uh, Fritz. Ah, oh, sorry, you didn't. You really didn't have to do that. Ah, it's all right. It'll be like carrying word around. Yeah, he's about the same size. Yeah. I am glad you were able to see through his bad manners. I do love that kid. I just barely got time to set him straight, you know? But he's honest as long as he, you know, isn't causing too much trouble. Hmm. Does he have other people who can take care of him in your absence? Uh, if you talk about family, not really. That kid just showed up in town one day and was the most loud and obnoxious little bastard I ever met. And I love him for it. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not looking at Fritz. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Trust me, I've been asking the gods to keep him out of trouble. He ain't really my kid, but I do kind of feel like it's my responsibility to take care of him, you know? Nobody else has the nerve to put up with him. 
He's a lot more earnest once you get to know him, though. Perhaps some sort of apprenticeship in the workshop? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't think he's big enough for that. But maybe uh, one yes. day. You're a damn good person, Sergei. Uh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't put that based on how I'm treating that kid. I could spend more time with him. I just got other priorities right now. Who's to say? Yeah, but you didn't give up on him when everyone has. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like so I do. I spend most of my time trying to come up with more ways to improve Politrios against threats like the Blot or monstrous wilds of, of Alinthi so kids like Mikhail can be safe. Even if it means I can't really be with him as much as I'd like to. Yeah, all those creatures on the horizon are really something else. Oh, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as we're That's walking, the tree it, word. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> the tree. <laughs> if I ever get a second, I want to pull uh, Lyra aside. Mm -hmm. uh, something you said when we were back at the top of the tower really sort of rubbed me in an interesting way. Uh -oh. Just <laughs> all right. Look, the fact <laughs> that no one else has encountered the blot the way that we have really got me thinking. Like maybe if we sent a pigeon or something back to uh, Satya to see if any of the other champions remember anything unique about the blot or if mm -hmm. this is just us in our journey. Yes, that would be wise. Um, I may be able to commune this with Shamaya the next time she calls me. If not, I can attempt to find another way to send a message back. Thank you. Of course. Hey. All right, let's see. Back to let's the druid's spell list. Fight lot and rub graves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right, so and you run guys away from children. head to <laughs> the Lord's office to go find Lord Euphrasia. Perfect. So you guys uh, go into the Lord's office. You are let in uh, at the site of Sergei. Uh, Sergei, sorry. And inside, you find a fairly tall and wide middle-aged Air Genasi woman going through some papers and talking with some guards. She sees you come in, notices Sergei, sighs, and waves away the guards. Oh. You can see that she's wearing a, kind of a very thick black jacket with an ornate hat and, uh, you know, some nice jewelry around as well. Let me show a portrait of her. Yes. Show me the fancy hat. There she is. Ooh, that is a fancy hat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. She's like Buck. <laughs> she's got, yeah, she's got a gout white. Right on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But yes, she sees you come in and she just looks kind of neutral until she looks down and sees Sergey. And then she just kind of takes a, a few, two fingers to go up and pinch the bridge of her nose. <laughs> Sergey, please don't tell me. Lord Euphrasia, apologies for the repeated interruptions, but no, Sergey, I don't care how much help you bring, you're not going into those ruins. But we're not just any help. We are the, what is it, something of Satya? Pilgrims of Satya. Pilgrims, pilgrims, the Pilgrims of Satya. I know who, who you are. Oh. Oh, me specifically? Our reputation precedes us. I Word. know all What did of you do? You. Of oh. course oh, I know who you are. It's in my paper. It's my job to know who you are. Of course. <laughs> I take a bow. <laughs> Listen, you pilgrims are free to head into whatever ruins you so wish. You are not under my command, but I would heavily advise against it, especially on such a fool's errand. In what way, exactly? What has he told you that he wants to find in there? Mm, just a little bit of garbage some dead person left behind. <laughs> Yeah, what's you, what you call it, Sergey? A stop to the blot for good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I've discovered a new way to use a nearby cactus to wipe material. Huh. That's fascinating. I didn't know you were a scientist. I was being sarcastic. Ah. The blot is that merely a part of the alive. ecosystem of Alinthi, and it's best left that way. Those who have tampered with it have only brought pain and destruction upon themselves, and you do well to respect its destructive nature. And uh, Sergey just kind of like with certain parts of that assessment. Yeah, yeah Sergey just kind of looks to you guys and kind of whispers, "Come on, help me out, guys." 
Lord Euphrasia, the blot is not part of the natural ecosystem of Alinthi. The natural ecosystem of Alinthi suffers under the blot's infestation. And at the, same, in... at the same time, like, if you could tell a tornado not to sweep through your city and destroy everything you've made, you would want to have that ability. Am I wrong? He seems like a genius. He's basically built this whole place, and if he thinks he knows what is right when it comes to protecting it, I think it's worth a shot. So right, I mean, is not the only person who has indicated a connection between the blot and the ancient ruins. We were already planning on investigating something similar. Sergei is only giving us an opportunity we would have taken sooner or later. Give me your choice of a history check or a nature check, uh, seeing as you are using those as arguments for... Uh, well, my nature is plus four. Yeah. yeah. As you so are, you know, bringing up the idea of Things not being natural. <laughs> Why are we rolling so bad today? Because <laughs> I haven't rolled We're yet. We're rusty. <laughs> Observe. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's see. Me uh, word, Take you may roll this. as well. Uh, no! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I reset it, though. She's going to hate now. us. Yeah, she doesn't like us, though. <laughs> She looks at you all and, you know, taking in your words, she just leans back and sighs. It seems as though she's heard very similar rebuttals before. Listen, the ruins of the old world are abandoned for a good reason. Sergey, you've recovered some good resources and even advanced our city to heights beyond my imagination, but you've done enough. The deeper you've explored, the more dangerous it's gotten, and we cannot afford to lose you. Lest you forget what happened the last time you put a team together. And you can see Sergey just immediately just kind of looks down <laughs> and looks back at you guys and... Yeah, I'm immediately giving him, like, a look, like, what happened last time? <laughs> mm. Ah, perhaps Sergey can enlighten you on that. It's not my story to tell. Pilgrims, you're free to go in, but you will not be having the dragon's assistance. I'm sorry. Perhaps that would be for the best regardless. I, I don't think so, but... Uh... <laughs> She is correct that Sergei is very valuable. And the potential to lose him to the blot would be devastating. I, maybe I just don't understand the gravity of the risk that we're facing. Sergei, what are you not telling us? Uh, uh, he looks over to Lord Euphrasia and gives a little bow. Thank you, Lord Euphrasia. I'll uh, tell you outside. All right. And she just kind of... Um, looks to you all, doesn't even, like, give, like, a nod or anything, goes back to her paperwork. Pilgrims? Well, she's all business. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. Uh. All right, let's just, let's, let's get out <laughs> yes, of here. Yes, yeah, we're, we're following yeah, Sergey. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, really you were not able to secure the approval to allow Sergey to go into the ruins with you. Is it just me, or is every politician outside of Satya a terrible person? I think this one's just <sighs> sensible and overworked. Yeah, she, yeah. I mean, she's got stuff she's got to worry about, too. I mean, I guess I get it. What are they going to do if the, to the people? messes up, you know? What if we didn't bring him back? Like, then they know? get a new dragon named Word. Yeah, sorry. I don't about think that. perhaps someday. <laughs> she don't. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, uh, Sergey just kind of looks. Uh, <laughs> once you guys are outside, he just kind of shrugs his shoulders a bit. Sergey just looks a little disappointed, and and seeing that you guys tried your best, he just kind of shrugs his shoulders. Yeah, sorry about that. She kind of comes across as rude, but you're right. She is just kind of looking after her city and all that. Sometimes it doesn't come across like she wants to help, but she really does. Well, that's disappointing. Sergey, how bad did leave, this get yeah. the last time you went into the ruins? Yeah, we gotta know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, my last team. They died. <laughs> I gathered that. How, how yeah, many I of them that from that what? Point. Well, I was in too big of a hurry, and there was a bit too much going on, and I got careless. It's not my proudest moment. I delved into one of the old world ruins, like I do, and I had a team of adventurers with me, like I do. It helps to have extra hands and extra perspectives. Great as my mind is, there's always new angles that I'm not always privy to. But then this time, it's uh, it's hard to talk about. But uh, know that things went really wrong, and that it was my fault. 
I understand. Like, if, if if we're mm-hmm. gonna go in there, then it's it's best if you just tell us at yeah. least what we're up against. If there was a cave in, we gotta know that it's not safe. You know, if there's a a bunch of angry rabid kobolds in there, that'd be good to know. Mm. All right, sure thing. A few adventurers who have ventured into the ruins before, unsuccessfully, might I add, say there's a particularly big and nasty construct made during the time of the old Warforge factories used to be running. A big nasty construct. that's been scavenging parts from whatever it can find in those caves. Now tell me, pilgrims, oh. how much about Warforge biology do you know? Very little. Uh, I can make some guesses. <laughs> can this <laughs> thing make itself word. bigger? Would you like to make some guesses with a history check? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now oh. it's working. <laughs> so, word you would know that Warforge run on an internal power source called a soul crystal, similar to kind of like a heart, but in a mm-hmm. more magical sense. Avalanthe. And it's used kind of similar to how uh, magical crystals are used to power devices, like uh, the crystal that levitates your cart, or fire crystals that can be a nice source of heat. A soul crystal mm-hmm. is what keeps a Warforge alive, much like a heart. Uh, the only problem is it's only powerful enough to power one Warforged for a very long time, but only one Warforged. Can you put other soul crystals into the same Warforged? Mm. That is as dangerous a procedure as heart transplant, and it has worked in the past with other Warforged souls, but only ones that are like of similar size and make. I mean, like, accumulation, not replacement. Oh, accumulation, no. Okay. This construct, is it a war forged? Ah, sort of. It was forged for war. <laughs> so, <laughs> under technicality, I don't know if that's maybe not okay to say. <laughs> Roll for microaggression. <laughs> <laughs> My theory is that there's something so big and so angry that can have some kind of complex behavior for so many centuries and still not even woken up yet has to have a soul crystal with immense power inside. Is that what you want? Absolutely. Whatever that is, it might be the key to my new invention to help get rid of the blot. This is a bad idea. (laughs) So you would want us to find this construct, destroy it, and bring you its soul crystal. That's the size of it? Just about. I see. Can I, can I ask, I mean, when we get you this crystal, uh, I, I, you don't have to get too in-depth about the science because I'm not sure I'd understand it, but, I mean, what's the plan to end the blood? I guess I, I don't understand. What, what is this crystal going to power? It's going to power an incredible device that's going to be able to find the source of this thing. Whatever it is, the it's got some kind of will of its own. Now, the mages, they say it's not necromantic, but I disagree. As much as they continually tell me that it has no necromancy in it, I found otherwise. How so? Well, that sounds very important. He, yes. he pulls out a little wand that kind of looks like a wrench, uh, also with a similar, one of the same kind of uh, viscerally crystals embedded into it. This thing is my special conduit. It allows me to detect magic better than any mage I could find. Even deep magic, hidden away. Ones that they insist is not necromancy. So you believe the blot it springs from a single source and that source is in part necromantic? Mm-hmm. That's the gist of it. And if I can find the source, I can put a stop to it. Maybe it's some kind of mage from the old war. Still hanging around, keeping themselves alive, vamping off of the life tree. That's just a theory, though. It could be any number of things. But with this, I could be able to find it and put a stop to it all together. That could be very valuable. Uh, I think it's certainly worth the attempt. Do you have any... The last few expeditions, do you have maps, reconnaissance, hmm. information about what we might be getting into? Not for this specific dungeon, but if it's anything like the last few... Uh, there's been abandoned dungeons and, uh, there's been abandoned (laughs) ruins for hundreds, if not thousands of years. So odds are, whatever things that are in there, that are living in there, have moved in and shifted the place into an environment of their own. Consider finding a lot of monstrosities and undead. Uh, Wonderful. 
All right, I might need well, to look through my spells. <laughs> there is nothing we can't handle. That is demonstrably untrue. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounds like this... Things. I mean, this is the challenge issued to us by the dragon, so it doesn't sound like we have a ton of options here. No, mm. I agree. Not just a challenge, but, we can but a favor you'd be doing for me and all of Alinthi. Uh, uh, yeah, that too. Is it really a favor for Alinthi if we don't come back? <laughs> Well, yes, I suppose we do nobody any good by dying in a dungeon, but if we succeed, this would be a great favor for Alinthi and for us. It might even stop the blot. I mean, potentially stopping the blot is one of the main things keeping us up on this journey, so I, I think it makes a lot of sense. Listen, you've already taken on two dragons, two very experienced dragons, even if one of them is extremely arrogant. If there's anyone who can do it, it's you. You've got something special about you. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I like look well, in the well, direction of the ruins proudly. <laughs> uh, well, perhaps before we go, maybe we should get a good night's sleep and then go in the morning. Uh, Wait, isn't didn't, isn't it the morning? I'm it, it's like it? it's like oh, it is the morning. Yeah, you guys oh, yeah, went to like early in the morning yeah. to go to meet. The oh, night. that's right. That's that's right. But you can well, take the day to prepare now? if you so wish. That would be wise. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, we had a rest. All my spell slots are cleared. One other okay. thing I'd be careful of: a lot of these, uh, a lot of these ruins have some sort of arcane interference that's been messing with my tools. So dispel magic is almost universally useful, if not completely necessary. Mm. Can you give us something that does that? Because <laughs> I mean, if you want I us to succeed, you're gonna need to equip us. I can give you a I voucher for some extra spell, uh, spell scrolls. That would be valuable. I've only yes. got like two of those. Yeah. He kind of uh, presses like a button on his back, and you can see out from his mouth prints out like a little <laughs> receipt. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see that it has the kind of Olynthian sigil, the tree, as well as a little bit of uh, instruction. It's got a watermark. Yeah, it's got a watermark <laughs> and a kind of printed signature of Sergi, uh, which is just a few very specifically placed dots. And he hands it over to you, and it's good for three scrolls of dispel magic at the... Uh, alchemist lab. That would be helpful. I can also prepare the spell if we have a night's rest first. You just know how to do that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take a scroll with two. Oh, boy. Oh, another thing. Where Politrios now is now used to be an ancient Warforge factory, as you probably know. So it's natural that a lot of them are still asleep lying around nearby and some of them, having not woken up, are probably still following their initial directive to destroy outsiders. And since the masters that gave them that order have probably been dead for centuries, well, get ready for a bit of aggressive constructs. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Let's be sneaky. I think that's about it. Well, thank a lot. you very much. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality and the advice, and we'll be sure to check in with you once we accomplish the mission. Sure thing. If you need anything else, just meet me at the tower. I'll try and see if I can pull some strings. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Well, you guys <laughs> need anything walk. more to prepare? I guess we should Only go. Only time. Yeah, I and think we should maybe go... Pants. <laughs> <laughs> who who is it who sells the scrolls? Can we go to that person? Yes, the Maybe. alchemy lab, which is now open uh, today. Yes, Ooh. the the little this thing. Um, now, while you're walking to the alchemy lab, uh, word, you hear a familiar voice ringing in the back of your head. It's your <laughs> little pal. Yeah. Uh, nonstop begonias who kind of appears right. in a sort of form next to you while you're walking. It doesn't seem like any of the other kind of bystanders are able to see him at all, but he's walking side by side with you, kind of hunched down to meet you kind of <laughs> eye to hey, eye. Hey, what's up, Begonia? Hey, boss, look at what I found. <laughs> and he what you got? conjures up kind of out of his hand what looks to be various different herbs and medicines. Hmm. 
Okay. What, why are you showing this to me? Is this just for me for free? Oh, if you want. I mentioned before that I could get things. I found this juice from the alchemist the other day, as well as a bunch of ingredients. Now you can hold them for ransom. That construct, I hear she needs this one to ease her pains. And he holds one vial of what looks to be some kind of like semi glowy pink liquid in a vial. Now you have leverage, boss. You're the one who can make demands. The one that we're going to meet? Yes. Uh huh. All right. I'll take them. <laughs> Word. <laughs> mm, he drops them, and they they transform kind of from their more ethereal form into the physical. Falling into your hand, you have a vial of uh, we'll call alchemist tonic, as well as assorted alchemy ingredients. <sighs> I look forward to the notoriety. And he fades out. And j just so I remember correctly, because I wrote it down, I just have to say his name when people are looking at me, like in terms of notoriety. He just wants to share that. That's his bargain? Yeah. Well, as as notoriety okay. in terms of accomplishment, however you may want to yeah. interpret that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he'll ever get bored or like <laughs> frustrated that I, I put that off. Cool. So, um, yeah, I pocket it. Keep going. <laughs> nice. Fritz? No, it's just a connection I'm making outside a game, not something oh. Fritz would know. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to share it with the class? Is, is he the one stealing from the shop? So you guys make it That'd to the alchemy really lab. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, you see no. Chestnut once again, uh, kind of tending to the stall and stuff, uh, actually opening it uh, this time, the, the Warforge alchemist from yesterday, Chestnut. Um, however, you can see that one of her arms is always to her side, like it's limp. Even when lifting mm. si uh, seemingly heavy objects, like a crate or a box, the her arm just, her one arm, her right arm, just seems to just sit there limp. And she sees you coming in, and she notices, Oh, uh, the adventures from yesterday. Welcome back. Uh, the Alchemy Lab is in business, as best it can be. Hello. Uh, we we got these vouchers for Dispel Magic. Oh. He's a dragon. We got that from the dragon himself. Oh, of course. Here. Uh, she kind of goes to take them from you. And hands you three, uh, just as it says, scrolls of dispel magic. So anyone can use those. They're one use and they're used up. Do we all want to take one except for Lyra, who can cast the spell naturally? Yeah, I'm, I've, and, I'm shuffling around my spells as we speak. <laughs> can anyone use spell scrolls? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let me add that to my equipment. And, uh, and that's a second level spell? Uh, yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Okay. You have a look. What do you have? What are your wares? Potion seller. Yes, she sells potions. Three different kinds. Potion Restorative, seller. utilities, and weapon oils. Her potions I require are too strong. your strongest <laughs> potion. You can't handle my strongest potion. My <laughs> potions are not fit for a beast, let alone a man. I need man. to rewatch that so I can recite my it all from my mind. My strongest potions will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, oh, I need to stop laughing and I, read. I, I don't think I, I need or can afford anything, so I, that's mm. all. Seeing as she I'm saw you yesterday, and you, I feel like you mentioned something about keeping an eye out for the thief, uh, she pipes up. You can see here in her voice some desperation. Uh, you've been keeping a lookout, yeah? If found anything on that thief that might have stole some stuff? I don't know, some suspicious-looking figures? I'm kind of running out of options here. I don't believe we've had any luck, but no, assuming we return from left. the ruins, we will gladly skittering shadows. aid you with this, yes. Oh, all right. Just don't know how much longer I can go or like this. Might have to close up shop again if this takes too long. My shipment doesn't come in until the next week. Oh, dear. I did manage to find 
a few things as we've been traveling. Would this help at all? And I put just the alchemy ingredients on the table. Give me a deception. All right. Oh, Give boy. Me a oh, my goodness. Okay. You found them. <laughs> where, where did... Ah, uh, to hell's with it. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much. Yeah. And she just so, kind of wait, like... Wait, these can are the that? missing... And I, I these point are at the, the top shelf. <laughs> can I have that potion? Uh, which one are you pointing at? Uh, I'll let you pick. Word doesn't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the top shelf would probably be the potion of growth. <laughs> okay. Gosh, finally, work. you can be a normal-sized person. <laughs> I will cut you down to my size. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are these the exact items that went missing? Yes. We you must have bumped into the thief and made him scared off or something. I'm... Uh, thank yes, you so word. much. Yes, word. That must have been what happened. I just, I find things scattered around. Look, I know where to look where thieves would hide things because um, I have a friend <laughs> who steals things very often. Is that Who's right? not me. Uh-huh. Yes. Sure. So anyway, this is a really nice potion. I'm looking forward to drinking the whole thing. Oh, of course. Uh, stop by any time. I'll <laughs> be sure if you would like, I can put you in a special order or something. Eh. I, I I don't like to go to places more than once. Oh, all right. <laughs> Anybody else want to put in an order before we go? Hmm. I don't believe so, but I might spring for the potion of healing just to have. I think I, I have one already. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh, actually, I also already have one. Never mind. I have all these potions. I just never use them on anything. I don't want to yeah, buy anything. Like... Sorry, I've got a puppy on my lap right all now. Good. Oh. <laughs> Boopy. All right. So you guys buy your potions and return your ingredients. And also, I wanted to ask <laughs> uh, because I also forgot about this. Fritz, did you want to deliver that uh, painting to the nearby like kind of post office or something? Yes. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. You can do that right now as well while you have downtime. Actually, no. uh, I might buy that potion of concentration. That looks like it could be extremely useful. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. Let me just mark off my 30 gold. <laughs> oh, God, we're so broke. Uh, I'm going to go back to the uh Hey, we might make some money at this. <laughs> Maybe. I'll, I'll go back to the inn, I guess, if we're going to... It doesn't sound like this is something that we're going to do tonight, right? No. We need time to prepare. Right. Okay. Well, uh, oh. I would assume you stop by the post office first as well, unless, Buck, you just want to go straight to the inn and not... I mean, I'll go... If, ever, if everyone's walking, like, if Fritz wants us all to go with them to the post office, it's fine, but otherwise, I'll I mean, probably just be like... If you guys like, want to oh, tag along, I'll, sure. I want to go. Okay. I think I'll just go back to the. I'll just go back to the bar. Hmm. Right. I might go Maybe, back to the oh. inn and start uh, swapping out my spell slots. <laughs> An idea. So, uh, Word. What? See, we're going to the post office. Why don't you write a letter to your friend at the bar now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be good to know uh, what business has been conducted in the past couple of days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Paula is very wise. Do yeah. you have your cards to the be able to man. work it out? I don't know your code stuff. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need your help with that. My I don't know how to write. Oh. I can tell you what to write, but I don't know how to write. <laughs> oh. Sure, sure thing. And, uh... I've got very good handwriting. <laughs> good. I have a couple things to send out. All right get to write a letter. I usually <laughs> pass them on. Ooh, I'm excited now. <laughs> All right, so you guys head over to the post office and you can see that there are a few people kind of exchanging packages and back and forth and stuff. You mm -hmm. can see that there is uh, a human behind just kind of servicing letters and stuff. And uh, when you go up there um, to mail the painting back to Satya, they recognize you, and they're like, wait a minute, are you the pilgrims from Satya? Mm. 
that would be us, oh. specifically the God King word and also Fritz the male bird. Hi. Well, I got a few letters for you, actually. Oh. From Satya. Three of them, in fact. Addressed to Fritz, Word, and Lyra. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got a All right letter! Then. <laughs> we just got a letter. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> And nothing for her buck fight. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing for buck. Nothing, They're nothing all for your <laughs> Oh my god. And uh, you exchange the the painting for the letters. They bid you adieu. Yes. Um, yeah, so for the note that I'll have written to um, Paula the Rattler is just sort of a general update on what we've encountered. Mm -hmm. I, I will like add a note that the blot is um, just noting that it's more di more than just a weather phenomenon because mm -hmm. that's all we know right now and then just asking for general updates about business, politics, anything that they would know. Okay. Yeah. And After the session you can write down the more specifics of what you would like to ask. Oh, just okay. So you, in case oh. you don't want to leave anything out or if you come, like, come up with something later and you're like, oh, I should have wrote that yeah. too. And then um, I will package up the vial of the alchemist's tonic. Ooh. And I'll have a note written to the alchemist. Uh, like, specifically deliver this in two days, not like right now, and have it issued from nonstop begonia. Oh. Like a, a generous gift. Hmm. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Those will be my notes. Nice. Now, would you guys like to read the letters first or uh, so that your letters back can be in response, or would you like to write the letters first? Um, yeah, definitely read first. Read. Oh, okay, read who wants to read later. first? Lyra, Word, or Fritz? I forgot I was here. I will absolutely read mine. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Lyra, you have a letter from Shamaya. Oh, it didn't is. use magic sending spells. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it's written. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Should yeah, we so not, do you not it. want us to, do you not want us to read this? If, Should uh, I read it aloud? Yeah, read it aloud I, for the, for yeah. the audience. <clears throat> Lyra, I've managed to finally find a cure for your little ailment, but unfortunately you'll have to put together the remedy yourself if you wish to be free of the witch's silence over you. The other friends of your companions insisted I write this letter along with them as a form of solidarity. I am unable to see what benefits a letter fills in efficient communication where a sending spell couldn't do objectively better in every way, but I digress. <laughs> I do hope you are doing well. Though I am accustomed to quieter environs, your absence does leave me wanting for company, or at the very least an extra hand. The weeds have taken over the garden. For my next birthday, I want enchanted shears. Take care, Shamaya. <laughs> And along oh, and then there's a yeah. there's a package of various herbs and ingredients, as well as instructions on the creation of the remedy. Require a medicine check DC 12 at sundown for each dose. There is only enough ingredients for four, so I'm gonna have to succeed at this all four times. Mm -hmm. well, Wait, word didn't three. get the yeah, gauge, word did didn't he? Get the, yeah. Right. Good. Okay. I didn't get the what? <laughs> you weren't the, the uh, gauge. Yeah, yeah. The, the the curse from the witch. Remember. Oh. Cool. No, Another thing to do tonight. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I'm curious who wrote the other letters who could persuade Shamaya to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Word who, of Fritz. Who again? Oh my god, my medicine is plus six. I'm no longer worried. Uh, I'll, I'll go in the middle. <laughs> All right, word. Here's your letter. All right. Ooh. Dear boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have someone else read this for me. Fritz, can you read this aloud for me? Oh, uh, sure. I My reading skills aren't best. But yeah, do oh the accent, Oh my god, I love too. them so much. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I read this? Am I blind? Uh, oh, it's, it's in front it's of me. Roll yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a summarization. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Dear boss, good news. That witch lady you told us at, to keep an eye on won't be troubling Satya anymore, or because she left and has been gone for a week now. Bad oh. news, we can't spy on her no more because she's gone and we don't know where she went to. That is we are good. crafting her house to mark your victory. 
Pumpkins are big. House? Graffitiing. Oh, graffitiing. I'm sorry. Oh. Like Graffi- I think it's graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> Larry oh, is like standing Graf- over Fritz. <laughs> Just spell check. Graffitiing. <laughs> sorry, Pun- the handwriting's a bit shaky. Are Pumpkins are bigger. Uh, I didn't teach him to write. It's not Claudius my and lackeys. <laughs> Claudio. Claudio? Oh, Claudio? Yeah, Claudio. Claudio. My Claudio. Boy. All right. That is good uh, to know, but also that... kind of actually really bad. Maybe. I don't know. There are I'm implications ha- in both directions. I'm going to hand it to you because there's a couple of things at the bottom you might like. Uh, Read the note. At the bottom of the letter oh, seems see. to be several claw prints of various sizes. <laughs> the lackeys who couldn't write so well making their own kind of signature. Oh. <laughs> Truly, oh, friendship hey. is the greatest magic of all. I recognize that one. That one's Lyra's. Uh, <laughs> Lyra. It's Lyra. Wait, Lyra. Isn't... This one. Uh, oh, yeah, this Lyra. One's Lyra. I got that back. This one's Lyra. The other one's Lyra. I was Lyra. looking at the phonetic writing that I had. <laughs> still did it wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. And all lastly, right, the guess... letter to Fritz. There you go. Okay. Oh, this is very. How do I make this bigger? Uh, you uh, should if you click on it, there's a, like, a, yeah. Okay. Class. Hoi, Fritz. Strange I find myself writing a letter to you of all folks, eh? <laughs> Though it might be a good idea for me and the crew and all those friends of, uh, of your friends to send you a little care package in the form of some good old-fashioned well wishes. How have you been enjoying mainland? I never met, uh, I never went too far past new best sky myself heard you're kicking the asses <laughs> asses of the buffs balls though sorry my reading is real bad i'm more of a more of a deliver letter than reader do you want me to do it if you click on it you Lyra, it should be... i'm struggling again he writes so <laughs> fancy of course <clears throat> heard you kicked the oh, arse of the bull though props to you i hope you got some scars and bruises to show us when you get back and now I hear you're in the land of invention itself. What a city. I've always known a ship like the insides of my beard, but machinery is a whole other story. Who knows? You might pick up a thing or two from that engineer's haven, and maybe you could hook up the NATO with some fancy lights or something. Really make her shine on the waters. The whole crew wanted to write you too, but I had to wrangle them to make sure you don't die by paper cut. Instead, we've all opted to sign this letter for you to let you know how much we miss you. So sorry if my letter's a bit shorter than I'd want it to be. Also, I've attached some extra coins some of the lads won while we were docked by Basky. Go spend it on something stupid for me, will ya? Doze it. Yeah! <laughs> I got I got allowance! Yay! <laughs> I got 25 gold pieces signed at the bottom we of the letters of two dozen signatures of f- some of them of obnoxiously large. Others are common by silly doodles of Fritz ones. Stand out piece to script with her a huge muscle arm wings holding smoke overhead in a prime body slam position. Oh, I I don't the, the, I want that banner some, on my desk by Monday. Some things got a bit misunderstood through rumors. Uh, it's an event. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna and roll attached it to the letter is 25 just, gold pieces. I want to know like, who did like the John out. Hancock big signature at the bottom of this one. I like this. This is very cute. I'm smiling. I hate that I can't read well. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see Dozen again and tell him all the stories. I gotta oh. be on the lookout for something stupid. More stupid mm-hmm. than the stick I brought. This is adorable. <laughs> so, you've purchased some potions. You've uh, read your letters from loved ones uh, back in Satya. And you can write your letters at the end of this uh, end of the session, so that you can get your thoughts together and make sure you say everything you want to say to them, or you know, learn sending. Uh, up to you. <laughs> it's not on my spell list. <laughs> Either way, uh, once you are done with that, what other preparations do you wish to do? Oh. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to. Still got an <laughs> entire day. Uh, ahead of you. I, I would say by now it's maybe like mid afternoon ish. Hmm. Would it be okay if I planted a bean? Oh. Planted a oh bean. Oh my god. Because Ward genuinely doesn't know what these do. So I want to like get a little like pot of soil and put it on the cart, assuming that it's going to take a while for these to grow. Hmm. 
I don't actually know how long it takes for a bag of beans. To One grow. minute. One it's minute. minute. It's like a, it's yeah. like immediate. I'm pretty sure. Uh, like hmm. no, it's a minute. I was looking at it, uh, but Word doesn't know the outcome. So. I see. You're gonna plant it in the cart. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll get like a little pot or something, like maybe a bowl that we have and just scoop up some dirt. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. put it okay. on the back or something. <laughs> Probably could... on the ground as I'm starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do that if you so wish. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. do you, would you like to roll the bag of beans for me? Here we go. Wait, what, um. 85. Oh, no. <laughs> God. A nest of 1d4 plus 3 eggs springs up. Any creature that eats an egg must make a DC 20 <laughs> con saving throw. On a successful what? save, a creature permanently increases its lowest ability score by 1. Randomly huh? choosing amongst the equally low scores. On a failed save, the creature takes 10d6 force damage from Good an internal God. magical explosion. Okay, let's see how many eggs spring out from the beans. Roll 1d4 plus 3. Some very dangerous gamba eggs. So you have six <laughs> eggs now. <laughs> my friends, I have created uh, eggs <laughs> with my bean. <laughs> the question is, would your first instinct be to eat them or to leave them alone? No, it, I don't. What kind of, what do they look like? Do they look like chicken eggs? I would say these probably look like run-of-the-mill eggs, like nondescript. You don't know where it's from. You can see okay. that it has a very dim glow and is ever so subtly just shaking in place. Are they like on a little vine or did they grow in like a little nest cluster? Like what? They grew kind of, yeah, like in a little cluster in the pot. Like okay. a, as they were kind of sprouting out, they kind of fell out of the pot. Um, I assume it's a small enough pot and then you put it on the on the floor that it, they just kind of rolled on the floor of the cart without oh, cracking. Okay. Hmm. Um, I made eggs. <laughs> you planted one of the beans. Well, yeah, I didn't know what they did. I figured maybe it would give us like some kind of neat little food, either for the future of our travels or for um, like the adventure we're going on. I figured it would be like berries or something, but uh, we got eggs. What yes, do you think I would happens advi- when they hatch? I'm actually curious to know that, but I would advise against not planting any more beans, at least what not in an enclosed space. Uh, advise against planting more beans? They're already in the ground. <laughs> no, other beans. Know, I don't know how I feel about you being a parent, Word. Put the eggs down. <laughs> I'm actually really curious what happens if we let these eggs hatch. Because <laughs> all it says is you eat them. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. we sit on them? Is that what you're... Of course, I, I don't. I, I don't. This. We just, we have eggs. I, I don't know what to do with them. Do I need to sit on them? No, not unless you want to. I. I what if I we don't feed know. one to like a random citizen? Or make I think we shouldn't do that. What do you? The eggs. What do you think is going to happen? Well, we don't know what's inside them. <laughs> Bean eggs. Oh God! Wait. How? Uh, how was I born? An Fuck. egg? <laughs> was I an egg? I don't know! <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Joe, can I make a major check to know how Arakakra oh, birds in the bees work? I haven't thought that out. Do you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought out through the Arakakra birthing process. <laughs> Come on, DM. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we pay you for? <laughs> Hey, word, how many hit points do you have on a scale uh, of, like, hypothetically? Uh, I think uh, hypothetically my 39. odds are you could just, just safe die. enough for me. Yeah, no, I can't die. I'm at 33. Yeah. Okay. okay. So taking... Observe my reptilian nature. No, 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 you could technically die. Uh, how do you know? Oh, wait, sorry. Do you no, I you could go. You, you could go fine. unconscious. No, you, yeah. he he has three, you actually can't. He yeah. has three extra hit points keeping him from possibly dying. Technically okay. six. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't know. I'm gonna try one of my All eggs. Right. I bought these. Oh, you t- I'm not gonna succeed though. I'm just gonna. You bite <laughs> into the egg. And... No, I, I stick out my tongue and I like swallow the thing whole like a reptile. Ah, you <laughs> swallow it whole like a reptile. Give me a Constitution saving throw. All right. Come on, over twenty. <laughs> Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Word, you see word swallow this egg whole 
and you. I'm okay. You <laughs> see, <laughs> I don't know if I don't care. His, his stomach and his whole body just like puff up briefly, just poof, and then just some like magical oh. mist just come out of his nostrils and his eyes just like briefly flash of blue. <laughs> So these and are eggs of internal bleeding. I choose to believe that like oh, he only God. got away with that because Fritz and Leira were having the like, no, no, don't overthink oh. it. It's fine. But what if I get, what, was I an egg or not? And then just behind us like, boom. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. All right. I suppose we'll be sleeping that off. Uh, uh, I don't feel good. <laughs> you are not sleeping under my bed tonight. I, I don't. I... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I think uh, I can see my parent. Have five hit points back. <laughs> Thank you. My You're welcome. I think you cleaned out some of the blood in my stomach. Oh, man. All the so, blood's internal. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Does anyone else want one? Can I, can I, no. I, word, can I scoop word up with your permission word? I just scoop you up like a baby. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, like shaking like, oh, frail. Oh, no. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm just going to pile these eggs in like a little like nest in the corner and just leave them. I'm going to put a sign on them that says do not eat. And then I'm going to add it as an afterthought word. This means you. You should know better. I know better now. But I didn't word... know better before. But I... oh. Wait, can word reader write? I forget. I can't read. No. Okay. <laughs> can't well, he knows the gist. <laughs> I wonder who this sign's for, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that sign won't stop me because I can't read. Yeah. Buck, please tell me you're up to something more responsible. <laughs> uh, I thought it was just. I, I think I was just gonna wait for them to like come back. Like I, I oh, okay. I'll probably just like yeah, get dinner come back or just like play solitaire. Right. <laughs> I'll put down five eggs of stomach exploding in my. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Buck's reaction to basically half dead wording for his arms. Yeah, are you Significantly guys? Significantly uh, more I, than I, half dead. I'm just, I'm just playing solitaire like at a table, and huh, this queen goes. I just here. Like, Buck. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, what happened? What, what's going on? Is there someone out there? I, I planted a bean, and it became eggs. Huh? And it looked really oh, good, and I thought he's, I was eat them. He's delusional. Oh no! I, I discovered one of the sparks. One of the many wonderful side effects of using the bag of beans that we acquired from these suspicious magical magic. Does it just do all the beans turn here, into just, eggs? Come here. The no, kilo, can, just, I pass you, can I pass you the, you the sick cobalt? No, don't, I, I don't want him. Don't. Oh, give, oh, give. I don't. He might throw up on me. <laughs> oh, come here. Your yeah, arms are too long to hold me correctly. I don't like this. I'm sorry. Just oh, hold okay. still. You just hold still. I'm going to take him to the bedroom. Come, come on. Oh, God, let's get you. I'm not that heavy, just take me. <laughs> just bowl him You're like going a, limp, like you have ball. to help me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep like slipping out of your like, water. <laughs> just hold Look, still. Uh, if I die in my sleep, I'm I taking want you the to beans. Know. You're very <laughs> cool. Okay, thank you, Ord. I'm just gonna lay you down here in the one bed that's in this. Well, actually, there's four beds in this room. I'm gonna put Not you in one. Not in mine, of them. please. <laughs> oh no, we made mega. We made mega bed last time. We made time. mega bed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fuck we, 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 we mega put bed. All the bed. No. <laughs> and I'll I'll put word I'll put word down and I'll kind of like tuck him, tuck him in. Uh, are you guys in the room for this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, just I'm actually gonna probably be in the room for the rest of the because I need to swap out my spells and stuff. Uh, and there was nothing <laughs> else crying. I needed to do, so it'll just be like a word like dying in the corner. Okay, so <laughs> I'm like so trying put, to meditate. I, I'll get some of the blankets from Lyra's uh. uh a little pile and Nest. then kind of yes. kind of like kind of like tuck word in because I know he's cold blooded so I'm trying to tuck him in a little bit you know that feeling when you're anxious and your stomach hurts a lot uh, this is sure. like if I was anxious 50 times over <laughs> okay, but I just think you need to just take a nap maybe just go to sleep a little bit so uh, just relax that's a, that's a good uh, idea well, I'll, I'll do I'll, I'll, gonna, I'll close his eyes <laughs> 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 I'll do that you thing you do, do that, like a dead person <laughs> A valuable <laughs> lesson was learned today. I walk. Not I my walk. Word. Up. <laughs> water is something. I. Uh, I'll get you. I'll get you some water. Don't worry. This about is it, so buddy. sweet. I'm just gonna be in my little <laughs> nest in the corner, actually getting shit done. <laughs> I walk yes. away. Uh, I walk We're away from the bed. Uh, I walk away from the bed where Word is tucked in, and I kind of like you know patting my hands you know against each other, kind of. Huh, so uh, how was the um, how was the post office? I guess. 
It was fun. We had some trolls. mail. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mail from mail from who? I received word from my mentor. Um. I believe Word also received a letter, although I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I had to read it out for him. Oh yes. And I got a letter from Dozen. You remember Dozen, right, Buck? I think you've gone drinking with him. Right, right, yeah. Um, any any mail for me by any chance, or? <sighs> not that we saw. Mm -mm. Perhaps next time. Oh, oh. I mean, it's not like I have many. Yeah, I'll get the water for word then, <laughs> uh, and I'll go get water for word and then bring it back when I get it. Well, should, the day is should, going swimmingly so far. Should we write him a letter? I'm not sure that would help. Okay. Perhaps we could write his ex-wife and suggest that she write him a letter. Oh, I don't know if that would help either. I don't know if that would help either. I'm sure his spirits will be raised in time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's, I guess, rest. We, we can't leave him alone. Apparently, Word will almost end his life if we leave him alone. So... Do you think we can confiscate the beans without him noticing in his weakened state? I don't think we can. I'm gonna be it might real be worth a try. A frail hand you can. I'm not, I'm not touching him in case he throws up on me. Oh, that's wise. Mm. All right, I'm back. I'm back with the water. Um, I, I'll just... Word... Here, you just take small sips. Just take a little sip. Small sips. Word, you're drinking too much. I know, and it feels like hell, but I need it. Okay. I'm losing um, water from crying. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> there, there, there. Sort of pat him on. I don't I'm know. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll learn ever to uh, layer in for it. Um, I think I'm just going to... the the onion from earlier is kind of not sitting right with me as well, so I think I'm probably just going to turn in. <laughs> is this turn in your for the retribution, night. God? <laughs> what a successful day we've had so far. Are there any other errands we need to run before our potentially inevitable demise tomorrow, or are we all set? Yeah. I don't... I, don't, I have nothing else that I want to do. Well, how much gold do I have now? 25 more than last time. Hmm. I don't, oh, I don't remember the prices. I don't think I could make my bow better. Uh, there should be, uh, in your little journal, there should be handouts. Here, I'll bring up the smithy in case you want to see. There he is. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Handsome boy. Uh, add weapon skill. What is an add weapon skill? What does that mean? So that <laughs> is uh, weapon dependent. Here, I can look up the one for... Uh, Hand crossbows, or is it light crossbow? Do you have a light crossbow? Uh, I can check for you. Uh, why am I struggling? Aha! I just have a crossbow, and it, does it just says it's two-handed range. Okay, that range must be a light crossbow, then. Let me light. look for it. Oh, it does that right there, light crossbow. Yeah, yes. Crossbow? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm a bit hysterical after everything just went down. That's okay. So, the light crossbow's special weapon skill is called Piercing Shot. Um, what it is, is you can use an action to do this instead of a traditional attack. And do -do 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 -do, shoot an enemy to damage them and possibly leave a gaping wound. So, what is gaping wound? Short rest. What is. Well, I didn't uh, prepare this enough. Basically, what I did was I stole Baldur's Gate 3's <laughs> weapon uh, skills, and every mm -hmm. weapon has a unique weapon skill. Um, oh. If I can figure out what piercing shot does, I will let you know, and you can decide retroactively next session, maybe? I will do it, yeah. I'll figure yeah. out next Sorry session. about that. I should have uh, no, researched right. this. Uh, <laughs> I have your character sheets. I could have just written down all the possible weapon skills that you could get. Out of all the weird things we have thrown at you today, <laughs> this is fine. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now but, having to, after stream, looking up Aarakocra birthing. Okay. Oh no. yeah. <laughs> Don't be looking that up. I would say it is for sure eggs, guys. It's probably <laughs> eggs. 
<laughs> You're uh, too hey feathery. <laughs> They're too feathery. Anyway, uh, most of the rest of the day, you guys are just hanging out and tending to each other, preparing both mentally and uh, physically and resourcefully, uh, however much you need for the uh, for the ruins the next day. Mm-hmm. And during the night word, while you're grabbing your tummy and just <laughs> making sure the tummy that you're hurts. all right, you get a visitor. In Is that you, God? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not yet. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> And it is non-stop begonias that shows up, kind of hovering above you. Greetings, my demonic ally. Hello. I wanted to ask you what the heck that was. <laughs> uh, wait, which th- which thing? I did a lot today. Well, firstly, you didn't say my name. For what? For using those things as leverage, the alchemist uh, items. No, I, I technically did. It's just something that's going to take effect in a minute. Mm, no, not a minute. I want immediate gratification. I, you didn't clarify that beforehand. I didn't know it had to be every single time. Well, that's kind of now on, I, w- I would like you uh. to preface my name earlier. Okay. <laughs> um, and also, that, what uh, was that deal with the egg? I can't get no die if you're dead. I, you think that I knew that the egg was going to literally explode my stomach? Perhaps not, but you could be less careless. W- would you like one? <laughs> <laughs> he still has one? <laughs> I'm putting them in my inventory now as tummy bombs. No. <laughs> His eyes just squint. I would like you to be more careful. I've just made this deal. It would be ruinous and you mock worthy if you died careful. immediately after. That's actually extremely true. Okay. Uh, yep. I will let people know that you are here and important and worthy of praise and whatnot. Do not forget our deal. I didn't know it was that concrete, but I won't. And I can I pat him on the head? Yes, you can. And okay. give me. Oh God! <laughs> just a, give me give a charisma me... check. Okay. Just a straight gotta, charisma. Got to riz up my boy here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you pat him on the head, and you can see his eyes just kind of lower a little bit. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. I should have prefaced a little earlier and been more specific. Yeah. So do, do you do like spooning it? Do you just vanish? <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I'm not one for a lot of physical affection. That pat was nice That's though. I, I can respect that. I understand. I have friends like that. I have a large personal right. bubble. Yeah. You'll grow out of it. And I like roll over. Hmm. We shall see. I do want to know one thing, though. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. The egg wasn't tasty. <laughs> um, it was weirdly spicy for having just been created. It was sort of like a... You, have you had a pepper? Yes. I don't know where you come from. If you can believe it, I'm not into spice. Mm, you probably wouldn't like one. Mm. Yeah. Good night, boss. Oh, yeah. Good night, non-stop begonia. And he fades and slunks into the darkness. Uh, could I actually make that one medicine check per night thing to try and make a dose of the, the You can make that... them, uh, it's not per night. You can make them all right now. It's just, you know, really? if you're feeling lucky. If you mm. fail it, the ingredients needed uh, are consumed. Um, right. I do want to, like, make note of what they are so I can try and buy more if I need them, but... um. um <clears throat> They are nondescript for now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I would figured. say you can buy more if need be, but it's gonna eat into your personal uh, coin yep. purse. Yep. Oh, good. Can I try the medicine check? Go ahead, if you so wish. Hang it. Oh, would you look at that? Ah, look at that. All right, you <laughs> made successfully made one cure remedy for the cool. curse of the witch. All right. Cool. Um, 
feeling lucky, punk? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I've already swapped out my spells, and now I'm nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, that's two cure remedies that's for the two. witch's curse. Okay, and uh, that's three. We're good. You get three hey. witch's cures for the for the witch's curse, the remedy. All but, right. Yeah, well done. Pass and you those have around. extra ingredients as well. I do. Ingredients. Mm -hmm. I drink the forbidden you juice. You drink <laughs> the little juice, the juice, and it's a little forbidden bitter, food. honestly. Not the tastiest Ooh. thing you've ever had. Are we? Is this is this in the morning or at, uh, at night that you're making these? Uh, I think I made those before we had his little spooning session with. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. You. yeah, it's like it said it's like do it at sunset, so I would have done it. But yes, yes, we can say mm -hmm. retroactively did, and. Uh, if uh, the three who are under the witch's curse would like to drink it, you can. Yes. Yes. Fritz? Mm, oh, I, sorry, I said yes, I drink my juice. My oh, okay. juice. I'll yes. certainly do it first so that nobody like <laughs> fucking dies or something. All right. <laughs> like, no, I trust in you, Lyra. I'm chugging oh, this boy. thing. Oh, boy. I have drunk worse. All right, you bottoms up the potion and all of you taste this bitter herbal medicine taste. It doesn't taste good, but you can see just all of you have a dim glow about you before the dim glow just kind of kind of pops off into these little sparkly dusts. You can now speak of the witch to anyone you wish, however you wish. Mm. Oh, huzzah. Well, I will convey my gratitude to my letter. And Leira, give me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah! <laughs> uh, heh. <laughs> All right. As you do down this potion, you feel flashes of imagery going through your mind of the blot that you have encountered staring into the red eye and the thing pointing at you. Mm. And so kind of flashes go through your mind and it feels as though you're getting a migraine until suddenly you're able to focus in. You hone in from all your training with Shamaya, you meditate on it and you focus on the imagery and when you do, you actually... S <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I was, I was just checking. What the hell? No, okay, you didn't actually eat the egg, you were just trying it out. Anyway. No, no, I'm not eating another one as yeah, a midnight yeah. snack. You're just trying to make sure that it will work. Yeah. Gotcha. Alright. So, Leira, you focus in on this vision and uh, on these images that you're seeing, and it's all the encounters you've had with the blot of the recent few days and weeks, until when you focus into the flashing images, you actually see through the eyes of the humanoid blot staring at you with its arm pointing at you. And through its eyes, you can see the two hearts in your pockets glowing as if it's calling to you. And you see the vision going backwards, backwards, going back and back and back into some strange dark ruins. Mm. And then the vision fades. Oh my goodness. Did anybody else see that? Hello? What are, are we, we are we? About? <clears throat> okay, are probably we not then. <laughs> Where, is this where we sleep for this? I don't uh, know. No, no, no. I assume this is it, this is right after you all drank the potions together to get. Yeah. Oh, so we all see it. Okay. No, no, no. no. You that... don't all see it. Only Lyra does. Oh, okay. I was confused. That's what I was like. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. You have a nightmare? No, I think I definitely need to sleep though. I I don't understand what it was, or how. Perhaps I'll ask Shamaya. Um. You know what? It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll explain later if it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. I need to go back to preparing spells or something. Anybody else doing anything during the night before you go to sleep? Mending my wounds. <laughs> Mending Mega bed your is wounds. taken, so... <laughs> Lyra! Well, one... <laughs> hmm? It's cold, and you take the fucking bed. <laughs> oh, you're free to join me in my pile. Thank you. <laughs> the pile. Just Angie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she fluffy and Angie. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. 
I'll tuck Fritz in. <laughs> <laughs> Buck, do you want to do something? Uh, I don't think I have anything I want to do, so I, don't, I guess not. Okay. Well, the night goes on. You all rest and sleep for the rest of the night. And when morning comes, you are ready to head towards the ruins, I'm guessing. Morning comes, yes. you have yeah. your breakfast served to you by the, uh, the nice innkeeper, the fire genasi, who uh, signs for you good luck on your journey. And as you head southwest, following the directions that Sergei gave you, uh, it, it's not too far from town. In fact, you don't even need to bring the cart. But if there's anything in the cart you wish to bring, any of the supplies that are provided in it or on it, you can as well, if you so wish. I think I'll uh, leave the tummy the bombs in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious to see if they hatch into something, eggs. actually, <laughs> like in the purposes of scientific inquiry. But... Um, yeah, you can basically you can bring the cart, but it's probably going to be parked right outside the entrance anyway, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and it's not going to be too too far uh, from the city. And you find the mouth of this cave, as given directions from Sergey. Kind of past a bunch of boulders, squeezing through a few tight spaces, you delve deep into a cavernous hole that is the entrance to the old world's ruins. You go layers and layers deep down as it gets warmer and warmer from the kind of hot, insulated desert heat. And through layers of broken down structures, uh, kind of lining the walls, most of it covered by a rocky debris. Every here and there you come across a few bones, perhaps the remains of some poor creature or previous unfortunate adventurer who bit off more than they could chew. You reach the entrance of the ruins. And Ooh. if you scroll to the bottom, you can put your tokens down here at the bottom. Ooh, oh, there we go. Uh, oh, where's me token? <laughs> put yep. name. Oh, I've got to yes. that. Oh, it's so gray. <laughs> Put mm -hmm. me token in the game. All right. Oh my goodness, I think this guy is dead. Ooh, that's a jam. Oh, so where's mm. my guy? Oh, I found it. Look Remember, you gotta uh, you gotta go to like the third here. tab from the left, uh, the little characters one journal, and then you grab your Buck. your name. Ha! You I was doing yeah. it the wrong way. I I'm sorry, Buck, but I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> Live, damn you! <laughs> Why he was so young, died too young. <laughs> no, we gotta bury him. All right. So now nah, he's good here. Ahead of you, you can see that there is a I kind of ancient architecture made of stone, carved in typical brick. Uh, you can see that there are two hallways leading into two dark rooms, as well as what looks to be some kind of cave-in with a bunch of boulders straight ahead of you. I'm gonna flip a coin to see which way I think we should go first. Uh, and then heads, I guess, left, and let's roll a d2. Yeah, one is, I think, did we say one is heads or one is tails? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, all right. uh, one is heads, two is tails, heads left, two, uh, right. <laughs> I think we should go left. I agree. All right. Very well. You head oh, into... No. They got him, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> They're so young! That's definitely a wolf buck. I'm point down at the, I point down at the skeleton. This is a bad sign, right? Like, they, this, we've barely made it into this place. Things die all the time. It doesn't need to be a, a thing. These are big bones. I mean, I'm looking at these. <laughs> are these human skeletons? Like, these are humanoid skeletons? Yeah, they're fairly... They're humanoid in some way. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is not great. I'm just off the bat. So you head oh, into we're... that room to the left, and you can see that it looks to be some kind of living quarters of some kind. Uh, you can oh. see there are various hmm. crates and beds, as well as a couple of uh, more dead guys, humanoid couple bones. dead guys, <laughs> and you can also see what looks to be some very run-down, destroyed, decrepit, uh, warforged bodies as well. You look 
to be warforged soldiers of some kind. You can mm. see their parts are all worn out, and you can see that in their chassis, where their soul crystal would be, it is just like basically out of power. It's far gone. Mm. But so they still have still their like, soul crystals, yeah. but they're like just burned out, basically. Basically. All right. I wonder what um. kind of literature they like. <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> yeah, if you look, there is also a bookshelf as well, but whatever pages on these books must have been faded in history. I doubt you're going to find a book on living forever, given the number of skeletons in this room. <laughs> that is a fair point. It's weird that this one doesn't have a skull, and I'm going to add a skull to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Just picking a skull off of the ground. All right. Oh, Begonia's going to love that. I know we said we were okay with stealing from the dead. I don't know about <laughs> not stealing, stealing the dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for you to take a skull. <laughs> It'll come in, in the third act. Oh, alas, poor Yorick. Yes, mm. yes. Some people I donate their skulls I, to I be used I knew Red would get that reference. <laughs> no, no, I actually, <laughs> it took me a second, honestly. Uh, I can I look in one of these like barrels or both of these barrels maybe yes you can look in those barrels and you can see what looks to be old mining equipment some pickaxes some spades some mm -hmm. shovels and various they're all real rusted and the wood shafts that they uh, once used to have are like rotten to the core and just kind of in disrepair as well mm, nothing too interesting over here you can glean that whatever uh, this room once was, it must have been turned into some kind of, some kind of like camping mining operation. Uh, there is a big mining industry in this area of Alinthi, so it would make sense. Can we try and figure out how recently these Warforged were deactivated? Oh, uh, yeah, you can give me an investigation if you so wish. Uh, I love that skill. It never maybe actually someone who is better at it than <laughs> me can try, but I can give it a shot. Oh, I ain't no private can eye. Can I? <laughs> Bad. Anybody who wishes to investigate can investigate. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All Sherlock right. vision. Lyra, you go up to one to try and kind of poke at it and prod at it and figure it out. And trying to do so, you touch it wrong and it just crumbles to pieces. And a few of it oh. just oh. kind of cracks oh. on the ground, making it completely Unfeasible. I'm gonna put an extra skull on it just to indicate that, <laughs> that it's one's like completely twice unsalvageable. Yeah. I believe it was killed some time ago. <laughs> Fritz, you look at it, you look it over, and with a 22, you can tell that it's almost as if this thing was just thrown together recently to make it look like it was deactivated, actually. What? Oh, oh. Can I explain that to them? Yeah, oh you can God, relay this to your so allies. It just, it was just recently thrown together. Wait, does it, sorry. Does it look like shoddy? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm just confused by your wording a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, it, it looks as though these parts are actually, you're looking at them, it looks like it's just a masterful craft of someone who made a piece, like almost like a piece of cosplay of a Warforged, hmm. but hmm. purposefully going in and to Gross. scratching it up, putting fake decay on it to make it look as though it has been there for a long time. What? Uh, guys, these were never alive? Um, these are crafted. Yeah, that's true for... I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like, they... Uh. They were crafted and put here to look like this. That's very worrying, because that uh, makes it seem like this so is some like, sort of trap. Like fake dead bodies? I, I suppose, yeah. I don't really get why you would do this. So what you're saying is that we should leave. I think yeah, we should leave this room, uh, yes. I agree. If, if not this entire location. I'm so perplexed. So, I'm sorry, is the vibe that like, these Warforged were created like like props, these were made to Do look like count? dead Warforged? Yes. Or is it that these were, okay. So it's okay. not that these were actual Warforged yeah. that were killed and then made to look older? Yes, basically Fritz, you can tell that these are fake. So they, that's what I mean, oh. they were never here. They're just, they're, just, they're not Warforged. Uh, would they count as Warforged? 
That is baffling. Do it. Can I make sure that these skeletons are real? <laughs> uh, perhaps. And with, what about uh, these rocks? Hmm, maybe a medicine check. I, I think. Oh, on, please on let me make a medicine check. <laughs> Since uh, I would say, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! No! I, mean, I wasted them be, on those cures. <laughs> they seem to be of proper proportion and all that stuff. I, and you I know, investigate my humanoid skull. Similar. <laughs> 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 Similar to the Warforged that you inspected, Lero, whenever you go to grab kind of the bones, <laughs> they kind of crumble to dust in your haphazard grabbingness and, and eating. How is we're doing that? <laughs> Lero, maybe you should stop touching things for yeah. now. All right, I think that room is a dead end. Should we try the other one? Nobody let Lyra touch you. You will turn to dust. <laughs> Did anyone well, don't come touch crying to me if you get injured. Did anyone touch the bookcase? A no. word kind of looked at it, and the books look really old. Yeah. Oh, did yeah, there's, there's no them? interesting okay. literature there, I promise. Uh, I think we'll I we were going to do a Scooby Doo or something. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope there are yeah. secret passages. Yeah, so let's split up. Open that <laughs> no. room, and you can see that there are more dead, quote unquote, <laughs> warforged, as well as what seems to be some humanoid remains on a bed, as well as an unopened chest over here as well. Some sort yes. of storage Just, chest. Oh, God. <laughs> I will use my mage hand. Your mage hand. Chest. Okay. Your mage Actually, hand no, reaches out. in front of it. I'll be over here. <laughs> Your mage hand reaches out to tug on the chest. G -g -g -g. It seems pretty locked shut. Hmm. All right. What is it? Big blind? Is that what you call it? My hammer? Yeah. Smack that like wait. Do I have tools what if, for this? I mean, what if there's something inside there that we don't want smashed? Oh well I meant the lock, but actually I forgot I'm a professional here. I'm not that <laughs> um <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't have that good of an accuracy, I don't think. Sleight of hand. Okay, that is a high enough sleight of hand check. Mm -hmm. that when you go Even to start to pick the lock, possible. you see teeth. Yep. Oh <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna beginning need you to guys discover something. No! Roll initiative. As a mimic gnaws out its its teeth to try and grab at you, but with your high enough sleight of hand, I will say that it is enough to dodge out of the way. Yeah. What are with my I rolls think... today? Wait a minute, La Destructora. Yeah, it's because I, I never think... removed it from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> the true form uh, of the humanoid skeleton revealed. <laughs> technically, I can use my uh, mage hand legerman for sleight of, like, sleight of hand checks. Ah, so I would ooh. make that remotely, just like the tools are floating and picking. I see. Okay, yeah. Either way, it wouldn't have, uh, with that high of a check, like it, it's Hit not you. able to grab you at all. Okay. So Clicking. let's roll four. Like every video game has taught us, we should have just hit it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you might break it. And what's inside? <laughs> yeah, the last time that happened, we broke a potion. Mm-hmm. That's true. Stupid potion. Mimic. <laughs> should have should have been standing there. Ooh. Okay. Fritz, you see the mimic gnawing out at your friend word. What do you do? Oh, well, you know what? We do a classic little Nice. Okay. Oh. Yes. Pierces into it as, like, immediately as it lifts its maw, and you fire right into the roof of its mouth. <laughs> oh, Ooh. nice. Um. Oh yeah, I get two attacks, don't I? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you do. You know what I haven't used in a while? A javelin. I'm gonna spice Ooh. it up. Ooh. All right. You throw <laughs> the javelin. Yep, that's gonna hit as well. Oh my god. Like. <laughs> okay. Initiative is over. Straight Good job. Past buck. <laughs> oh. <Yeah! laughs> You fire it on a with swivel. one of your shots from your crossbow, and then with your other hand, you lift a javelin and throw it and floof, pin it against the wall. And it just floof, into uh. the wall, and it coughs up bleh, a little bit of bile on word. You don't take any damage or anything. But it coughs up a little bit of bile and a little bit of gold pieces as well. There's uh, 15 gold pieces on the floor. Good work, oh, Fritz. Ah. Uh. What did I put in my crossbow? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, if I can, I'd like to take a look at this rock slide area you mentioned. Yes, um, you can tell I'll that take there's the javelin a lot out of. And give it to Fritz. Yeah, you can bring the javelin back to Fritz. You can tell that there's a lot of heavy rocks. It seems as though there was a cave-in that happened here. Okay. Um, so you're gonna need to 
Tell me if this works. I took the Mold Earth cantrip because it seemed like it might be useful for an underground area. Um, it's not super fancy. It's not stone shape or anything, mm -hmm. but it says uh, if I target... So it works within a 5 foot by 5 foot by 5 foot cube. If I target an area of loose earth, I can instantly excavate it, move it along the ground, and deposit it up to five feet away. Um, Ooh. Would, does this count as loose earth enough for the purposes of starting to clear it? I would say it most certainly does, and that for, uh, foregoes the uh, check that it normally would need. Oh, and you're able to push the loose dirt out of the way, revealing the next portion of the dungeon. <laughs> what? I, I love how we all just know where it's going to take the gold, so we didn't even ask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got little guys up there. So, the next leg of the ruins, you can see that the architecture that once was, the kind of stone bricks, turns into more of a traditional cave with organic, just uh, kind of stalagmite, stalactite structures of just holes that have been dug by some creature from some long ago, or perhaps naturally formed. You can see there's a few more uh, bones and decrepit kind of dead bits over here, as well as a few dungeon slimes that seem to be chowing down on those bits, scavenging, as it were. And you can mm. see that a few of the bones are just sizzling inside of their bodies. They're having a nice time, a good meal. Well, that's I had to sweet. Grab something really quick. How much gold was in that total? 15. 15. Hmm. Well, we should probably clean these out. Yeah. All right. Can we get a fight him again? We going straight for it? I mean, we, we all have ranged weapons. We could just kind of pick them off. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of us have ranged weapons. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Three of us have ranged weapons, and uh. All right. Well, I'll stand all here right. and make sure you don't get hit. Fire, you don't stand in the way of the firing squad. I won't squad, stand. I guess. I'll move out of the way of the firing squad. <laughs> Let's go see. firing squad. Let's see what works, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Since you're all, I assume you're all going to do it, like, together at once. Well. Wait, can I, can I borrow, Fritz, can I borrow a javelin? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I'll hand you a javelin. Just give it back to me after. Okay. I am going to throw it at them, so hopefully if it survives that. You can target oh. mine. I'm using a spell that might not kill it outright. I would imagine Since your thrown weapons also gained, like, five... I'll, I'll roll the javelin for you, yeah. I guess. Since, since they haven't taken notice of you yet, I will say you get one free attack on them before initiative starts. Yay. Okay. All right, I'll target the one in the back. I target the one closest. Do you want me to roll the javelin for you? I'll tar I'll do the... No, I have javelin, actually, uh, oh, okay. like the stat thing, because awesome. I had some at the beginning. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> and let's see the attack from Leyra. Doesn't matter. Oh, what is this? Uh, frostbite. Uh, frostbite. Okay, frostbite. DC 14 mm. con save. Okay. All right, all three of you kind of fire off your weapons, and Buck, you throw it, and it just kind of pings off of the cavey wall, just ding, <laughs> ding, 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 over here, while everybody else pretty much lands it a little bit, splashing off a bit of chunks off of each uh, ooze, as they all start to panic and quickly kind of crawl and seep into the cracks into the wall and panic. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're gonna run away, that's probably a nice, clean solution. <laughs> Did it take my arrow? Let's see. Yes, it did. Gosh. Here's the here's the uh, javelin. I, like I said, I'm not very good at the ranged. <laughs> hey, it was it was attempt. It was a try. Yeah. Now mm. there's some more uh, cave and debris over here, as well as an another empty path down here. Hmm. I can try to clear this with the same uh, mold earth cantrip as before. Okay. Uh, if people want that, or we can check the clear path. This might open up. You know. Why don't I, I would prefer clear paths just in the off chance that you gave us all in here. I I'd suppose be fine. that's fair. We would all die. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Born in Down the clear I mean, do you path. Want, do you want me to stay here with you while you clear that out, and then you guys can see if there's something down the other no, way? No, no, let's, let's not split up. <laughs> let's try the clear path first when we, we can come back and move the earth later. All right. Last time we did that, we lost poor Terry. <laughs> what? Oh, that wasn't with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go down the clear path, and you can see that it looks to be a very another similar storage room uh, as the other ones. Uh, without a bed this time, another dead warforge, and some... Another trunk. And another chest, another storage chest of some kind. 
All right, who's you feeling sloppy lucky? Sloppy dirt bag. Actually, you know, I'll just I'll do it from this distance now. And if it has a like a keyhole, I'm gonna just send over my little mage <laughs> hand to to pick the lock. Okay. Like bow in hand, ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's see it. Oh yeah, that's right. Womp. All Zoom. right. You pick the lock and kachunk. The chest opens up. Yes. <laughs> what is mine? What is yours? A so second smaller mimic. <laughs> <laughs> An explosion. So inside, you do find a little coin purse containing 20 gold pieces. Hmm. You find... I'll, I'll eight... give everybody else five. Oh, shut Nice. <laughs> you find a potion of cl of wall climbing. Is that what it's called? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and you find yeah. some sort of vest that is unclear to you. It needs to be identified by somebody. Hmm. So you can add unidentified vest into your, into your inventory. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll put the vest on. You're going to put the like vest on. Me. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Oh, Cursed no. immediately. <laughs> How are you okay. feeling right now, Word, emotionally? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, <laughs> all in all, content that I'm alive. Content, okay. The vest, as you put it on, uh, it seems to be made of some kind of silken material. You couldn't quite tell is what the like color is, but then it has a very dim glow and turns orange. It's a mood ring. Uh, Buck, um, I'll hand you the spider climb potion just because it's funny. It's a mood ring vest? The, um, okay, uh, what it? Spider climb. Got it. Put it in my inventory. <laughs> the thought of just turning around a bucks climbing on the wall. Fritz. Fritz, if it fits around you, can you try this? And I'm going to briefly uh, lend Fritz the, the best. Is it safe? I mean, I'm not dead. You also ate eggs. Yeah, eggs and a vest are two completely different things. Fine. All right, I'll put the vest on. How are you feeling emotionally, Fritz? I'm mm. a bit nervous. A bit nervous. It turns a deep shade of blue. Oh, very stylish. You like blue? I'm more of a green type of person. All right, I'll take it. Is Actually, there a... no, I want to stay here. What if we put it on Layra? <laughs> oh, yes. All right, I'm going back to trying to... What? Yes? Hello? Can you come over this here for a second? This was designed for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you put this on? Yes. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Is the other question. I'll Is put it on just the like best. a deeper blue? Yeah. <laughs> Lyra, what's your emotional state right now? Oh, boy. Um... I've been like super focused on the whole plot situation, so I'm mad on edge since we got in here, and the fact that we've only met slimes and decoys thus far has me even more concerned over what nightmares lie beneath. Okay, so, so contentious. Yeah, so <laughs> but a the face bit... is completely stoic as always. <laughs> a little concerned, and when you put it on, it stays the same color as Fritz's, a deep blue. Hmm. Fascinating. Anyway, Maybe I'm going to go clear out that you're... wall now. <laughs> This is okay. wonderful. You both have the same aura. O aura? Okay. It's like a part of your soul. Mine is Why the... is my soul blue? Because you're sad. And mine's orange because I'm on fire. No. I'm not sad! <laughs> your soul says otherwise. I will ah! say, when you guys were in that room investigating around, when one of you stepped, I presume, uh, stepped on a specific spot right here mm -hmm. briefly mm -hmm. as you stepped on that, oh, that spot was word. you that yeah was, word when you it. briefly stepped on that spot you saw a sigil a magical sigil appear <laughs> but as soon as you stepped off of it it vanished oh oh boy well let's just pretend that that doesn't exist because i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> all right that bears investigation later i'm going to try and uh, clear this corridor Okay, you clear yeah, the corridor keeps... once again with your mold earth. Yep. And yep, you move the loose no, rocks out of the gone. way. And in this path, you see that there 
are there is a path up to mm. the top and you can see you hear some little bit of rushing water to the right as well as a large kind of snail looking creature amidst mm. some more bones in sort of a shallow pool Hmm. Oh, and that's seems, fucking disgusting. It seems to be <laughs> gnawing at something away from Guys, you towards the wall. There's, <laughs> there's something very <laughs> gross. It smells like where we put my grandfather. Maybe, maybe we should just be quiet and just kind of move on to this next area. I really like that idea. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's give me a stealth check, everybody who wishes to sneak <sighs> past it. Uh -uh. Yes. 15 from Word, all right. 14 from Buck. Oh. Twenty from. I was Fritz. more stealthy than I thought I was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Lyra, <laughs> da, walking da, behind da. everyone, steps on one of the bones and makes a loud and crack. And we all turn slowly to you. <laughs> the large. Well, I don't know what any of you expected. Snail-like creature. <laughs> that step on Wait, bones. What color does the vest turn? <laughs> and it's the same shade. <laughs> this is the same. This is exactly what I expected the day to go like. And screeches, and you are all going to have uh, to roll initiative against the bone whelk. With cat like bone, tread. Uh, bone whelk. What's bone that from? Whelk. That is from, I believe, uh, Baldur's Look. Gate Descent into Avernus, I think. Oh, goody. Oh. You got us something from Descent into Avernus. You should. Oh, have. I fucking it hate it. Thank I am, you. I am not sure where it's from. I was just browsing through my books to find creatures mm -hmm. to use that seem like they would be underground. You can see that it is a large I... snail-like creature, oh. but instead of a shell made of something from the ocean, it seems to be made up of the various decayed, dead creatures all around, including the bones of the deceased. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I'm and when it seems that. to you, that. it screeches mm. at you. And it's gonna roll its initiative. Thanks, you've just unlocked a phobia. <laughs> oh, don't lock it. It's gross. Where's my oil? Luckily, it's totally pretty oil. slow. Oh, it's done. A snail? Slow. <laughs> Surely not. And it's going to start slithering towards you, but word, your turn is up first. Ah. Uh, I am going to huck a vial of oil at it. A vial of oil? Uh, it's just a uh, typical oil, like flammable oil. Yeah. Yeah, all right. You huck the oil at it. Give me a ranged attack. I'm using my, um, what is it? Dragon's Gambit, or is it? Ooh. Dragon's Gambit. I will point out that it's ability. in the water, but meh. Maybe it'll work. Yeah. Well, I'm like throwing it on the bones and the slime and stuff, but yeah. Uh, right. So that'll just be a dex. Yes. All right. Yes, you throw it, and it smashes on it, and it coats the upper part of the whelk in oil. Well, goodbye. I run over here and I'm gonna do a stealth check. Okay, yeah, give me a stealth check with your uh, cunning my... action. Oh my god, Ooh, you are man. hidden. The I thing, am unstoppable. The thing it's a time where I almost die. <laughs> there's no way it's gonna reach that amount, so you know that you're hidden. Yeah. Okay. I like slide under the rock almost. <laughs> Fuck. Right back to room. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to touch this thing. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll stay here. And hold, I, I guess I'll hold my action to, because I don't really know what we're dealing with. Ooh, actually, um, I have a torch. Can I light a torch and then chuck it at this thing? With a, uh, yeah, with a... Like an action? Yeah, improvised weapon. Um, sure, what do I, um, what I believe a I ranged roll? attack is... Can you use strength on a throwing weapon? I don't quite remember. Yeah, I think you can use. I think you can use either on thrown weapons. Yeah, all right. So uh, yeah, give me like a, a strength plus your proficiency, which says an improvised weapon. Actually, are you are you proficient with improvised? I'm weapons? not. Then just a strength. Um. Well, I'm proficient with martial and simple, which I, th I want to say counts for both of them. No, improvised weapon is a very specific thing yeah, that uh, you gotcha. have, have proficiency in. So you can just give me a strength. Uh, just a strength check. Yeah. Ooh, you throw it? Is that enough? Oh, no. It. You throw it, and it's spinning, and it bounces like the hilt where you are holding the torch bounces off of the bony shell before it dips into the water and, can, and sizzles out. 
I have an inspiration. Can I can I use it? Go here? ahead and use your inspiration. We're gonna rewind time to see if that mm -hmm. actually happens. Okay. I'm not good at the ranged weapons. We've been over this. Okay. Never no! mind. The same thing happens. <laughs> ah <What's> damn. <happening? laughs> I told you I'm, I'm not good at ranged How weapons. How did you roll a critical failure twice at different? Oh wait, no, I get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you wish to do, Buck? Uh, I don't want to use my rage just yet, so I will not do anything else. Dag I'll stay it. here. All right, Fritz. Okay. Uh, I am. Where am I? I am over here. Dude. Mm, A real quick note for everybody: <laughs> within the next uh, ten turns, any fire damage does an additional flat five damage. Ooh, tasty. That's what oils the I I tried. You weren't here, but I really did try to no, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, set I it on fire. Oh, well. <laughs> what are failures but prolonged damage, right? success? Okay, oh, okay. so that is going to be an additional 20. eight fire rather than three. Ooh, yes. And it does light a flame as well as it screeches. And I guess I will pew again. Oh, you Ooh. pew again. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And this thing lights a flame and it screeches again. It's not holding up too well, actually. <laughs> Why am I? Okay. Uh, and I still have some more movement, so I'm gonna... Wait, so from here... 10, 15... 15... Oh, I'm not going back. 20 30 okay yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay fuck math <laughs> <laughs> end of turn end of turn Lyra <laughs> yes <clears throat> um well at the risk of uh, breaking the elemental theme we've got going I didn't actually prepare anything with fire in it so I'm going to instead cast ice knife <laughs> oh my god why did it roll all the dice at once uh well anyway to hit it's 19 <laughs> okay um, yeah, 19 will hit, and the pierce and the... Okay, yes. Wow, that's a really bad damage roll. Uh, it needs to make a save. dex save, yeah. Okay, so it's only going to take half, and I'm going to say, since it's on fire, it's going to take even less than that, because I'll say it's resistant to cold damage since it's on fire. So it takes... That does sound fair. <laughs> one cold damage instead. Yeah, you throw Great. the knife, and it seems as though it's Pew! almost like it melts before it even reaches the whelk, although some of the shards seem to embed a little bit into its tough skin. But not too much. All right. Well, that was a learning experience. <laughs> Mark off my spell slot. Uh... <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that, that's me good. <laughs> okay, now it's the bone whelk's turn. And it is going to slither on up, not too far, because it's got a speed of 15. And you can see its neck kind of bend backwards as it's hucking up something and pff, spits out oh, no. a glob of goo that no. Lyra, Fritz, and Buck, you're going to need to make dexterity saving throws for me. Ah! Ooh, I have a... Wait, was uh... my name included in that? Yes. yes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do I make it? Uh, my matter. dice keep rolling off the edge of my browser. I oh, have weird. advantage on oh, no, deck saving it. throws against invented. effects I can see. All right, hey. danger sense. Yeah. You may roll with advantage then. All right, so Buck and Layra, you are fine. However, you are going to take three acid damage eh. from this kind of mucusy spit that the thing has thrown at you. Fritz, you're going to take six, and you are grappled right now. Okay. Ugh, so you are gross. unable to move unless you make a strength saving throw at the end of your turn to get out of this goopy muck. Oh no. The grimace shake. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I feel like that went from nothing to fucking everywhere in like <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Word. You I just uh, looked still. Looked up where snails' brains are, and they just have a set of ganglia. Yep. They, they don't but have this brains. one's a big one, so maybe it's. <laughs> What's different. a ganglia? It has bigger a ganglia. ganglia. It, it's kind of like a distributed nervous system. It's like a little non-brain, yeah. but it's a cluster of nerve cells. That's like so. A lot of uh, things like slugs have 
several yeah. ganglia kind of up and down where it would have a spine. It's like if you took your brain, system. but like stretched like all the wrinkles in it, but stretched it out into a long noodle. With oh. like just... lumps along the noodle. So the ganglia are like nodes, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in a blender and then spread it throughout your whole body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh. little brain jombly bits. Is that good enough for <laughs> Mini <laughs> brains. Part of a little thing, jombly you learn <laughs> Don't gross get me anatomy. started on, on octopus brain. Gross anatomy. Uh, I'm going to launch a short bow attack at it to get that sneak attack damage. It's going to hopefully be higher than fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is with advantage. Yep. Okay. Yeah. To end it. Yes. Nice. You fire into it and it's just, you hit it in a, in just the right place, wherever a good nerve is. And it stabbed its ganglia. You stabbed its ganglia <laughs> and it falls and squishes into the water. Well done. Good work, and team. you can see right as it was slithering towards you and as it falls it kind of slithers over another one of those sigils that briefly appears before vanishing again all right I what don't is that love that but i do love my arrow okay. <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna fritz gonna help fritz out yeah yeah, gonna, yeah pull oh, yeah you guys do that they start to like wade <laughs> in to get my arrow back yeah. <laughs> You wade in, it's about waist height for you, Word. Uh, and when you okay. pull the arrow out, there's like a long string of mucus kind of no. stuck to it. Come on, man. <laughs> you can leave the arrow, we can buy other arrows. Yeah, but this one killed that thing. Fair enough. Is, is there anything else on its weird body? Like, is it just bones? Has it dissolved anything else or is there like- It's just bones and maybe? flesh, but if you would like to make an investigation, you can. Oh God! Not. Is the arrow poison now? By the way, <laughs> whoops! Bones and flesh. You reach in and to try and check out what's in the bones, but it's very, very uncomfortable for your little claw. In fact, a few times you feel like you are poked by maybe like a rib or something, or maybe some like tooth or fang <laughs> stuck in there somewhere. Guys, you'll never believe what I found. <laughs> and I walk back like with my arm behind my back covered in slime. <laughs> And I'm just gonna like lash my arm out to try and get slime on him. Bro, <laughs> get, get away. Are we all making deck <laughs> saves? <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Fritz is already covered in goo. Yeah. Good yeah, goo Fritz has already been me. gacked. <laughs> okay. More, more of an ooze. You guys going over to the well, next leg of the. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Let's, let's look at the. Uh, let me in. So, as you do, you see that there are more war, uh, kind of broken down Warforged, as well as a kind of watery gap, kind of like filled in where the cave seems to dip in elevation a little bit, as well as some of the regrowing crystals you saw in Viserly and some parts of Politrios as well. Hey, hmm. fancy. Natural resource. As well as two more paths, another open one and another piece of fallen debris and loose rock hmm. does the water I'm, look deep or uh it's about like knee height for you waist height for word hmm. about the Wait, same amount of water as before buck you're I'll going jump. in I'll go. yep okay buck i'm gonna need you to make a strength saving throw. Uh, I, uh, there okay. it is <laughs> Something I'm ostensibly. Oh my God! God. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, I'm not no. rolling great today. If I'm being completely <laughs> honest. Doing fantastic. So as you that walk nonchalantly fun. into the water, you are immediately grabbed by another bone whelk that has been oh. keeping its body kind of s still in the water s and just flat. Down. And it comes up and wraps itself around you. Ah, no. Help. <laughs> as well. Oh, there's the there's the gnat. Damn it! <laughs> As the whelk grabs you, it signals with us. Oh my God! Where wow. was this before? Oh. <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, you should be able to change it. Yeah. There we go. So as the bone whelk grabs you, it screeches, and you guys hear skittering from above you. And you can see oh. that the bone whelk this time is not alone. As oh, you no. can see some kind of white scorpion looking creatures. There are cave hey. fishers as well. And they appear and drop down from the ceiling. Ugh. No good. Can I, make a, can I make a nature check on those guys? I love them. Yeah, sure. Look at those little guys. <laughs> uh, creatures. Do you know about them? 
Uh, I sh- know the layman's amount about them. Th- their meat tastes like lobster soaked in wine. Ooh. What? It's just de- yeah, it's they're delicious. Okay, well, then word would know that. Meshi, are we doing today? <laughs> word would know that. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they all drop from the ceiling in the ambush and word just calls dibs. <laughs> just start, <laughs> start watering at the mouth. Yeah. You, you know that they're, they're subterranean <laughs> spider-like creatures. They do have webbing similar to spiders, except they're much larger. They hunt bats, these things. Oh. Uh, they oh. often like crawl on the ceiling, grabbing unsuspecting bats that are just kind of sleeping in their cave. <laughs> all right. Gross. So, Buck. You're grappled by this thing, and it is leaking mucus. I'm also going to need you to make a constitution saving throw, as this mucus is acidic. Sure. Oh. Let's see how much damage you are taking from the touch. Ooh. Okay. You're only taking two acid damage from this. Only taking two acid damage. So far. Got it. I'll go so, ahead and take one acid so damage far, from baby. rummaging around in the other Yeah, way. you want to take one Come acid on. damage from rummaging yeah, around? Yeah, I'll do that. Fair enough. Now... Is I understand grappling. Um, I my speed is just zero, but I can still use actions. And, yeah, like, you can, can still, still do hit this stuff. Thing. Your speed is yeah. just zero unless you my speed is just zero until I get off. Okay. Yeah. Unless you're um, restrained. Am I at first, or is there anything else that? No, you're first. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I will. I'm going to draw a card and rage. <gasps> He's gonna rage. So, let Whoa. me see. I forget I which one of these rolls me. it. I think it's this one. Ooh. Ah. Hey, look at that. That's one way to Hey-o. get out of the grapple. Uh, nice. So <laughs> I will. Whistle? Yeah, it's Can one I... of the sound effects from. As from as I am I wanting to do, but, yeah. I will I will teleport behind him and say <laughs> nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> and then uh. And then I would like to attack twice, and I'm about to do this recklessly. Ooh, both with advantage. Let's see it. Uh, let me, let me. It's a panic return attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to just actually hit something for once. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 You see, you hear a big crack as you smack right into its shell, and you hear a splurt as some of the mucus kind of bursts out. Whatever is under that shell, it's keeping some tender parts. Uh, because uh, because of my uh, crusher feet, I can uh, once per turn move a creature five feet. Uh, can I move it like? Uh, I don't know if I can show the direct. Like, how do I show the direction? Uh, there like should be this a this you way. Can, yeah, oh, yeah, you can like smack like it that push way. it back a little because I want to move it away from these guys. Yeah, you can. Uh, and then I will hit for my second attack. Uh, that's the wild surge. Hold on. Okay, yes, that second hit is going to land as well. And those those will each do, uh, so add four to all of those because I'm using my okay, rage, so four. I do an additional all plus right. two. This thing is looking uh, so. roughed up. Nice. Uh, and that will, uh, can I use my thing again? No, because I've used my bonus action. So, but, I, but on my next turn, I can teleport up to 30 feet. Mm-hmm. So I'll end my turn here. Awesome. So the yes. first hit, you hear a crunch, and the second hit, you hear a slap, like a loud slap as you hit the more tender part of its front. Just Just Lyra. Disgusting. Awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So one of these little bug guys just, oh, two of them just dropped mm-hmm. near us. Um, then, yeah, I'm going to target Lefty Magoo. Uh, I'm gonna use a <laughs> thorn whip. All right. Why not? Like I have weapons, but honestly, like, what's the point? Oh God, damn it! Oh. Does it have a really low AC by any chance? Um, unfortunately, it does not. As your no. thorn whip goes, and it just kind of hops out of the way real quick. Well, beans. All right. Uh, well, that was my <laughs> action. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to shift uh, in, as my bonus action, so I get seven temp HP, and I can do some more stuff with my reaction. Uh, mm. But that's going to be it for my turn. Okay. Fritz. All right. Um, this fella, I forget how to ping. I'll just ruler right towards it. This guy. Eat arrow, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Yes. The dip that shit. arrow goes into the dipshit, just straight yeah. on into its <laughs> soft shell, and 
It does a and decent amount of damage. It looks pretty roughed up, though. All right, then. Oh, so nice. Oh. We do it twice. Very Woo! nice. Yep, the other one. Just two quick arrows phew, phew, into it, and it's dead. Yep, Heck yeah. That's my nice. turn ended. <laughs> All right. Next is the cave creatures. So, no. this one mm -hmm. is going to spray some webbing down onto the floor. And huh. do, 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 do. they got filament. Once again, uh, well, now new for Word, uh, L Fritz, Lyra, and Word, you're all going to have to make two dexterity saving throws. That's both oh, of I these. Oh, I didn't see ones no. behind us. Yeah, I was so blind. Yeah, there's Tell two of them here. You. They're spraying webbing on the floor to try and trap you. Is it dex dexterity save? Uh, dex code? save. So first, let's do, yeah, let's do Fritz first. So first one. 16. Okay. Still fail and the second right one. Now. Oh, there's a second one. My bad. Yep, oh, they're yeah, both two of them. spraying webbing. I can count. Ooh. Oh. Mm. And once again, you are grappled, unfortunately. All right. Pain and suffering. Next, Lyra. Yeah, let's do yours. Okay. Okay. Nope. <laughs> oh, Lyra, you're grappled. Sure. Word. Dex saves. Yeah. Yes, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. grappled. All both of you are grappled. <laughs> <laughs> Only Buck can save us now. Yeah, all three of us, right? <laughs> yep, yeah. all three of you. Yeah. We're and just they're driving. going to move in close. Oh, no. And these two are actually going to completely ignore Buck, seeing as you two, you three are grappled. This one is going to skitter on over, like, on the wall, since it has wall climbing, and drops down mm. next to you, Fritz. And it is going uh, to bite you. Oh, this is going to suck. Uh, I hate spiders. It's okay, just kill them. We used to hunt these things. <laughs> Okay. Bite it right back. I'm sure it's delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. So both bites hit, and you are going to take nine piercing damage as it bites you oh, twice. No. This one is going to crawl up onto the ceiling. Over here, over here, over here. It's not able to make... Is it able to make... Uh, No, it's not able to make it all the way, but it is salivating. You can see kind of a sticky goo drop from its little mandibles dipping into DM, the water. What's up? How high with, up is the with, ceiling? With my additional bugbear arms of 10 yeah. feet, am I ah. able to hurt that thing? <laughs> you know what? The uh, ceiling is short enough that you are able to reach. It is going to, you, it does proc Ooh, an attack of opportunity from you. Okay, yeah, oh my gosh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and I can move it five feet. Uh, oh, no, I can't, I already did that. Never yeah, mind. you already did forget, that. Forget I said so that. you smack it real hard. You hear a loud crunch as well as you smack yeah. it up against the ceiling, and you can see a little bit of its guts kind of splattered on the ceiling above you as well, and it is pretty nice. roughed up now. Uh, word, you're not surrounded, but you do have several guys near nearby you. Meat. Low guys. Did the did the whelk go? Did I miss the whelk? Oh, the something? whelk. You're right. Mm. Thanks. Uh, yes, you did have homework last night. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, don't it. worry, Chet. I'm ready to get m messed up by this guy. I'm I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Genuinely. So F's in the chat. The whelk. You're welcome, baby. Seeing that you are all trapped and nearby <laughs> is going to move Fritz a little for bit reminding close me. right over here. <laughs> no. And it is going to screech. No. It's not oh, oh what? God. Yep, this can thing can that? screech. So I'm going That's to need... That's kind of gross. Yeah, it's very gross. Uh, I'm going to need Everything everybody to make a... Con. This? Do, 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 do. Wisdom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I th I would... <laughs> you can strang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Constant one I'm good at, please. Constitution yeah. saving throw, yeah. Ah, Shit. Oh, man. Come on, baby. Oh man. Oh, ten, oh man! Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm good. Yeah. Probably. Lyra, baby. Like My iron will. <laughs> with air before it pushes. No, no, stop making me yes. picture it. Yes, it's <laughs> I mean, that's what a snail would do. Inflates with air before you can see its mouthy, teethy mouth just kind of screech out. <laughs> it's what? It's mouthy, mouthy teethy, teethy mouth. mouth. I'm very good at descriptions. And uh, <laughs> actually, word, you do make the save. Funnily enough. Uh, oh, so. God. Word and Lara, you're able to hold your ears closed as the screeching does not completely pierce your eardrums, and you are going to take five thunder damage. But eh. Fritz oh, and... Oh, those of us who uh, succeeded take five? Yes, you take mm -hmm. five. Fritz okay. and Buck, however, the piercing screeching sound, uh, not only do you take 11 thunder damage, you are both oh. deafened as well. Oh! I'm uh, oh looking goodness. a bit rough, guys. No! Does that that counts as an attack, right? 
That is an attack, yes. Okay, I'll take uh, yeah. three Yeah, oh, I'm taking way more damage than I would have. <laughs> okay. Don't die, Fritz. Next is word, your turn. Okay, I'm back. I'm in. Uh, Put me in, coach. Uh, <laughs> I don't... A bag of beans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if shoot, you yeet one of them tummy bombs into the snail, I'm curious no, what would happen. The, the tummy bombs are in what the What if it, it passes oh. the constitution saving throw and it gets stronger? <laughs> it just gets one point of intelligence, becomes able to speak. Ooh. I think these things' blood is actually highly alcoholic. I'm not sure if it's going to catch fire, but I'm going to slash at this one with negotiation. Oh. Come on, negotiation. Ooh. All right. And so kill it, probably. That's a off. lot. And the sneak. Okay, yeah, you just kill it outright in one hit. You stab at it. Nice. And it bursts a little bit into flame. Just... <laughs> I see it, it, and as I do that, I'm, like, I'm gonna use my reaction to grab it and take a bite. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Uh, um, that's that's my turn. Okay, it's, it's not. <laughs> delicious. Surprisingly gamey. Oh no! That's, that's fair. No one's been. <laughs> he in looks here so disappointed. <laughs> All right, Buck. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to teleport here. Okay by my friends. Um, and then I guess I will do my, fr I, wanna s I don't know if I'll kill it or not, but I'll, I'll use it on big blind, attack recklessly on the. Ooh, Ooh that's a crit, okay. It, yep, on the you snail. You just smack it and it just like, you squish its head as it's like screeching and it's getting ready to do another one and you slam it down into the water and poof, you paint the water with like a yellow mist. Oh. Heck yeah. Everything in this cave is so disgusting. Nice. Uh, I will, uh, I guess I will try to, I have 10 feet of reach, so I will try to take out the one that I already injured earlier mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with another attack from Big Blind. All right. Yeah, and this one as well, you smack it into the wall, it, just like, like a lift, like an uppercut of your hammer, and it poof, a crunch into the wall as it like slowly falls, like, piece by piece of each of its limbs like slowly unstick to the ceiling as it falls into the water. Gross. And uh, I guess I will use my movement to come over here. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Now, they are all both seeing that uh, a lot of their main sources of intimidation they're going to use a special reaction to retreat, but, you know, attacks of opportunity from all three of you, if you wish to take them. Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, they get attack of opportunity? We get you. to attack of oh opportunity. Oh my gosh, then. max max oh damage my on my... Yep. Okay. That's, ah, that's, plus, that's plus two as well, Joe. Oh, gee, okay. Uh, yeah, you, I'm this raged. one's getting ready to retreat, but you smack it, like, as it's crawling up the wall, you smack it into the wall and just <laughs> squish it. I'm a... Uh... I'm gonna hit it with my talons. I'm stuck. Uh -huh. so I'm moving, so. Okay, you scratch it with your talons. <laughs> Come on, Lara. And you're able to. This is the first time I've only ever used my scimitar. Chop off a few limbs, but it is able to make it away, and it is going to retreat into the little cracks and crevices. Congratulations, you are able to beat the ambush cave creatures. All right, oh. let's get unoozed if we can. <laughs> huh? I can't hear. I can't hear you. Oh. Great. All right. Um, I'll say I'll if you spend enough time, you you'll eventually make the saves to get rid of that deafen because it would have happened at the end of a, you just each turn. See, I'm word gonna... looking angrily at you, Buck. <laughs> you can't hear him. He's like yelling at you. All right. I'm going to <laughs> dole out a bomb of the summer court to where uh, Buck took damage this turn, right? Fritz. Fritz probably needs it more. Fritz, I'm, I'm gonna. Fritz, I'm I think most. I might do an actual healing on Fritz. Um, hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm gonna cast a up. first level cure wounds. Thank okay, you. which? Has much oh, to me Max. Uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll also just because I have a bunch of bombs of the summer court. I get five of them per. Um, so I heal eleven. Long rest. You heal eleven, yes. Um, oh, and goodness. Buck heals just five. Uh, and I'm gonna also throw a bomb of the summer court on Fritz. Who heals an additional two, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. I'm trying. Uh, did Word take any hits or? I just, my ears got a little thunder drummed. I'm fine. Oh, okay. I think we're all right. Um, I'm missing three health. Great. Oh, I still have absorb elements. That would have been useful when we got acid attack. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I 
do too. <laughs> Joe, I don't know if now would be a good time to call the session, but I can't mm. stay for a super. I know okay. It's, yeah, it's we can call the yeah. session here for be now. To be honest, I'm real explore, sleepy. Yeah, we can explore the rest of the ruins later. I think this is a good, good. place to call it. Call what it. could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong?